Yeah, da, 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 da. I'm here. <clears throat> so it's tough to have like a little. <laughs> you know, well, it's funny because you're moment. you're you're back and we haven't I podcasted mean, in like what probably almost a month. Yeah, because we just got ahead for the trip. Yeah, I went to the doctor. My triglycerides are high. I yeah, I'm trying to help him out. I knew it. No I just won the pool with the yeah. Uh, I'm jet lagged for sure. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I like I I normally, you know, like with like doing the cruises sometimes. Yeah. I'll be gone for a week, and it's a time difference for sure. But this was two weeks, five hours ahead, and I am like there still, and yeah. like Kalina, wow. Kalina falls apart. Like she hasn't made it to nine p.m. since <laughs> wow. we got home. Yeah, but it's you know it's five hours ahead. But now it's making me really concerned for June when I go to Alaska for three weeks and yeah. I'm five hours behind. Yeah, for three weeks. Holy shit! I'm gonna get home and like just stay up until four in the morning. Yeah. Five in the morning, six in the morning, yeah. seven in the morning. Like I'm 22 again. How you, long have you been home? Like 48 hours? Uh, no, it's it's been like three three days. Okay, but it, it is weird where it's like, hey, I'm still feeling this. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm older. You could take some Ambien. It knocks you out. I've heard not good things about Ambien. Uh, one of recently. one of my improv pals recently asked me if uh, like how much of the footage that we shot for the live show was legit. Yeah. In terms of ambient, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, it, it felt it felt good to be like, well, I'm that good at acting. <laughs> I want to see ambient Brad come back in a lot of things. I uh, my my doctor yeah. gave me, you know, not not related to my terrible triglycerides, but uh-huh. she's like, try this sleeping pill, and it hasn't worked and has given me an incredible headache. And I'm like, oh no, I don't think I'm going to continue to take this. I think I'm just going to not sleep well. I'm going to try yeah. to get him to go into the THC like me and Ray. Yeah, I got to wait until the doctor tells me it's okay. <laughs> I'm older than you. I'm a child of the '80s. I'm a child of Dare. Can I, I'm, not, I'm not pressing, and it worked. Can I, can I, can I, I'm not for everybody. I'm not challenging. Just, just me. But what do you think a doctor could say about it not being okay? I, oh, I, I don't know. I think. Uh, well, the the last doctor said. Well, looking that, at your chart here, it does show you're a huge square. <laughs> so. It does. Hold on, I'm looking at your chart. Uh, L7. Yeah. L7, what is that? Is that, yeah. a, is that a vertebrae? <laughs> looking here, wow, you are off the charts on the uh, BERT <laughs> scale. And, and your Ernie levels have plummeted. <laughs> You're that's, all burnt. That's, that's because I, I you're get, all burnt down there. I get I get Ernie supplements from hanging out with this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, no, but like really, like what could he? What could they say? Uh, the last one said there's no evidence that THC helps with that. The okay. Last I mean, I have uh, no... anxiety, so I I do that, and then I don't have to think about that. And there's... for sure, going two weeks without it, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 it helps. There's no evidence that marijuana makes you uh, likely to fall asleep. Uh, that's what she said. You think that's right? No, I would talk to another doctor. <laughs> well, now I am. Yeah. That's the thing. I know this doctor that works out of a van. Uh-huh. He will tell you it definitely helps. Yeah. And uh, other things Well, yeah, too. the people who, uh, who who sell you things tell you they help. Yeah, that is true. That's funny. That's really funny. Uh, so it's just, just that it doesn't help? Yeah. Is there anything so. unhealthy you're worried about, it's saying? Um, I, well, I'm worried about, um, you know... I, I guess I'm worried about being perceived differently because for so long I've been like the doctor can't help with that. <laughs> so long I've been you know straight edge Brad, where I, yeah. I I was like Adam. I don't say adamantly opposed, but I was like, no, that's not for me. That's not for me. That's not for me. Yeah. Um. And so the idea of somebody being like, no, actually, like, hey, a lot of what you learned was wrong. So mm. it's I have to admit I was wrong. Yeah. Um. And uh, that's called personal growth. And then change. Yeah. And I, <laughs> and I'm against it. Yeah, that is fair. Well, I was going to say, I do think part of it, the perception aspect that is kind of, I think, cool to think about is like when we were growing up, which was, let's call it the, for you, like uh, early 90s to like... Thank you. I, you know, I, I figured a joke was coming. 2000s. 1890s. Yeah. Uh, I just do think that the uh, the way that marijuana is like created and um, kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? Understood. Regulated. Sure. The way that it's actually made. Like when you were buying it off a, a dude to get high, I think that that almost is like a completely different intention than the people today that are kind of making like THC gummies for mm. sleeping yeah. and stuff like that to help yeah. people. It's probably it's probably how, just using it a different how does, way. How does it affect your triglycerides though? 
Oh, do you, uh, this is I'm not I'm, I'm being I'm an ignorant man. Does it affect anything like that? I don't know. I don't I think don't know. so. Uh, I will say this: I I do it only at night. Right. Uh, you know, people offer, and uh, and I'm like, yeah. no, nah, I'm good. I I only do it right before yeah. I go to bed. That's kind of what you I'm know? thinking. Yeah. I, Chuck I don't sprinkles really, the gummies yeah. on his cereal in the See, morning. I mm. I never take. I really almost. I think maybe less than five times I've taken gummies to be like, oh, I'm going out to a, a club or a bar or whatever. Yeah. And ev- like. Ninety nine point five percent of my usage has been just to fall asleep. I wonder what I'd be like without anxiety. Hmm. They say I, so. I've been listening to this podcast a lot. This, um, this podcast? Uh, no, this other <laughs> podcast. And they've been doing a lot of really cool studies about basically personality, uh, psychology, different things like that. One of them, actually, one of the hosts is a therapist who specializes in the concept of grit and people who uh, persevere. Which I think is really an yeah. interesting like study of like what's mm. similar about those people, but they do a lot of stuff that are personality studies. Um, oh man, what did you say that made me think of this? I'm so sorry. I wonder who I'd be without anxiety. They said that everyone has anxiety. Yeah, they're like people well, yeah. say like I have anxiety. They're like, but everyone should have anxiety, and if you don't have any anxiety. It's like part of being a sociopath. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but yeah. there are also unhealthy levels. Of course. Yes. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Of course. yeah, I think I've crossed that Rubicon. I, Same. Yeah. They, they did a great <clears throat> recent episode that you, that you should listen to, and it's basically about growth. And it's about, like, is getting out of your comfort, comfort zone uh, healthy? <laughs> Why not? Because it's doing uncomfortable. Is, well, they're posing the question. Maybe, maybe yeah. getting oh. out, of your comfortable, out of your comfort zone is completely unhealthy. Oh, okay. <laughs> then I'll support it. <laughs> I'm going to open the episode now. I love the idea of you listening, hopefully. (laughs) Hello, and welcome to... This is what I get for listening to a new thing. (laughs) Welcome to to a new episode of Fun Bearable. I am Brad Rohr. I am Ray Ireland guy. Some London as well. Harrington. Oh. Wow, and I'm Chuck. Do you have a last name, Chuck? Stay in. No no funny nickname this time, huh? Mm. Okay. I'll think of one. You got this. Yeah, thanks. I believe in you. Yeah, I'm so uh, excited. Ray's back from his trip. Man, yeah. we, we got ready for it. We were responsible boys. We had True. the uh, we had the live show locked and loaded, which I think was a really cool thing to have to release while you were gone. Yeah. We did the awesome episode about you getting ready with the feuds. That was yeah, really fun. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And now Ray's gone on his big trip, and we haven't... We purposely haven't really talked, so I don't know anything about the trip. I didn't know we were recording today until hours ago. Really? We didn't talk about this? We, we did not. I, you know, I said, oh, I'm free I assumed all the time. that he, he oh. had informed you. He did not. And I, and I made an ass out of you no. No. and me. You're good. All right. Uh, well, you, uh, you, you made an ass out of Chuck. Let's get into Ireland. Oh, well, please play. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is beautiful. Thank you. Oh my god! The national anthem. I yes. this is, oh my god! Yes. Can I? It's always about death. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with that flute. That flute. That's we, a funny flute. We did a Christmas show in 2019, oh, and and one of Chuck's. This? Chuck's pranks on Ray was the idea of yeah. he's going to make Ray play a recorder solo mm-hmm. and be bad at it. And then Chuck would practice a lot and be really good at it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. And Chuck didn't practice. That's true. So the audience had to sit through two terrible recorder <laughs> solos <laughs> in a row. Now they get to hear the wonderful one. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that was good. Oh, I'm glad wow. I'm not the audio Three mixer. Three dogs killed themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got this in Ireland. <laughs> I figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, man. Uh, Did it, you play that bit? Yeah. What? Did you play the bit? Did I plan the bit? Yeah. Yeah, I bought this and I went, yeah, that's a... That's a <laughs> It's a 10 euro joke. You know what I mean? And Finn, Finn wanted one, so he got one. And I was like, I'll get one too. And uh, oh boy. Did you harmonize? <laughs> no, all Finn does is just go. <laughs> oh. For an hour. It's it's like the Jaws theme. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. Is, what, is, uh, what does the sticker say? 
Uh, Fear Dog, and uh, it's in the key of D. So they all harmonize. So if you and Finn yeah. played together, they would all harmonize. Yeah. Wow. Um, it is uh, it is a treat. I got that uh, in the um, Barra Peninsula, and it was a it was yes. a joyful thing. Yeah. Um, no, I I had a, a fantastic time. I, so I, I spent a week in Ireland. Yeah, man. And, yeah, and it was stayed at the castle. I did stay in the castle. Wow. As as uh, uh, threatened. Yep. I did. Wow. And uh, the uh, the experience was a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I'm overwhelmed with like all the little things. Yeah, to, yeah. To get hey, into. hey, hey. But hey, uh, if it turns into a two parter, it turns to a two parter. Well, I I only have one recorder. Uh-oh. <laughs> one one whistle. <laughs> yeah, it's Fife. True. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I like Fife. Fife. I like Fife. All right. Uh, don't get me started. I'm going to get into one of my songs. Yeah, yep. yeah. I'm going to get into one of the songs. No need. Uh, you, are you sure? Yeah. Did they beat the drum slowly? Did they play the fife lowly? Did they sing hey. the final chorus as they lowered you down? You know, anyway. <laughs> I like that. That was yeah. a good one. Yeah. Is there one about the potato famine? A lot of them. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, French yeah. fries? No. Uh, what else do they make out of potatoes? This is, you're on your own for this. <laughs> this is so offensive. <laughs> is it? Yeah, as an Irish person, that is very offensive. No, um... Yeah, so we stayed at the uh, at the castle, the yeah. the Drummond Castle yep. Hotel. Yeah, uh, it was genuinely wonderful. Yep. I mean, it's a five star place. It was beautiful. Uh, we did find the spot where uh, John Lennon and George Harrison stood with the swords and yeah. did their thing. We recreated that. That was a lot of fun. The swords. Oh, maybe Craig can insert the pictures. Hey, there you go, Craig. Throw it up. Yeah. Uh, there's a side by side, and uh, the swords are indeed with the suits of armor right. in the lobby and i was like finn you gotta touch the swords touch the swords and he's like i can't I just, I just, and he put like a pinky on one yeah i was like grab the hilt you know yeah. so that was a lot of fun uh how, how did he do because this was his first flight yeah how, any problems with the the planes or anything he didn't really sleep that much for the overnight flight yeah um none of us really did so right. the first day there was kind of a, like we slept in the middle point of the day yeah. and then went to sleep again so it felt like three days but it was two it was yeah. a whole thing but he did he did really well good he did, yeah he did fantastically on the flights good. um better than me you know i'm six seven I, i'm not yeah. having fun with that uh but uh Dromelin was wonderful uh at one point finn wanted to go swimming but it was chilly outside mm-hmm. and you had to go outdoors to get to the pool mm-hmm. and so they uh drove finn and kalina over to the pool in a mercedes and i thought that was very fun yes yeah, you fun. know that's a nice thing for him like yeah that's his little like kevin in home alone 2 moment yep. you know yeah yeah uh we stayed there for for a little bit uh i got the rental car the second day and I was worried yeah, about driving. driving. Outside. Yes. And I can officially say, uh, all good. Nice. Really? All good. Uh, the first like hour was just like, what the fuck? Oh my God, this is so weird. You know, yeah, everything yeah. was weird and different. Um, and there were a couple of times where I got a little nervous, but very, very few and far between. And for, I think, good reason. Sure. Um, yeah. uh, it is weird to be on the other side of the car. Mm-hmm. And it, it, there were moments like leaving a place. Uh, like pulling out onto the road, I would have to say out loud, like, I am going to get in the left lane. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that oh, kind yeah, of stuff. yeah, yeah. But uh, I really like the way, uh, I, I really like the way the roads like are, are labeled essentially. Like okay. all of the, like the road signs, the, the lines that are painted, how they're painted, like all that stuff makes way more sense than it does here. Hmm. I think it would, I think it would be harder being a European driver coming here, coming here than it would be going the other way. The, well, no, I, we I've, have really I, wide roads. I have a, I have a dumb, oh. I have a dumb question. Yeah, uh, related to driving in Germany, the at least in Germany in 1995 when I was there, because we have a German fan who can yeah. fact check me here. It was 95. Are you sure? Maybe maybe 50 years before that you were there? Okay, it doesn't matter. The important thing is, uh, it was a red light was stop, uh-huh. yellow light was next, and it meant, hey, a green light is coming. Oh, no, And then no. the green light meant go. No. So they're, they're red, uh, similar to Just ours? Straight up, same as ours, okay. yeah. Oh. Uh, the rotaries are, are you know, many. Yep. There are many, many rotaries. There was only one outside of Cork City that genuinely was like, what are we doing here? Yeah. Right? Every other one made total sense. This one had stoplights 
in Ooh, the rotary. That's so you have to know your lane before you even get into it. And yeah. I'm like, I'm not from here, you know. Yeah, uh, you yeah. know who's bad yeah. at knowing his lane while driving? Chuck Staten. Mm. What do you mean by that? Or in life. Yeah. What, what do you mean? I, I mean, you know, the GPS shows you what lane you're supposed to be in, and Chuck's like, oh, wait. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. No, yeah. I think that the GPS is confusing. All right. Uh, but no, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the, the, there are roads in Ireland. They are extremely narrow yep. and extremely curvy. Yeah. Like, like really curvy. That's like, how I like them. It's, cr- it's kind curvy. of crazy. But it is kind of crazy. Like some of the driving there is just like how is how uh, we just trust that the person around this blind <clears throat> corner is totally cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a lot of that. Some of the, some of the stuff, like when we went to the, uh, the Barra Peninsula, those roads are so narrow. You have to like honk before you go around the, the turn in case there's somebody there. It's wow. fucking narrow. Yeah. yeah. And the hedgerows are like right up against the car, but I like driving. Yeah. I like active driving. So like it was it fun. The only time I was worried was driving to Cork to go do a comedy show. Right. Uh, because we were staying at an Airbnb in Clonakilty, which is about an hour away from Cork. So I went and had a whole day with Finn and Kalina in Clonakilty. Nice. Got them home. Yep. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to go drive to Cork City now and do a show. Yeah. And drive into a big city. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, <laughs> and uh, by myself in the dark in these narrow roads. Yeah, yeah. I remember telling one of the comics... Uh, they were like, oh, are you staying in Cork? I'm like, no, I'm in Clonakilty. And they're like, oh, you're in Clonakilty? Are you driving back tonight? And I went, like, yeah. And they looked at each other, and one of the guys went, well, I mean, maybe the drunks won't be out then. And they look <laughs> at each other, and one of them just goes, like, that, like, uh-uh. Yeah, so I was like, That's oh, great. cool, thanks. Yeah, thanks yeah, for letting yeah, me know. Yeah. Uh, I did get to see a, a beautiful site that is a little... Um, maybe a little uh, uh, stereotypical. Maybe a, a, a bad... Uh, thing about Irish culture. Which was? Driving home that night, going through Clonakilty, beautiful town. I loved Clonakilty. Right. Um, I got to see the march of the men leaving the pubs oh. and stumbling home. And really? That, yeah, that was fun. It was like three or four guys just sort of stumbling through yeah, the streets. It was, it was nice. Yeah. yeah. But everybody's like super nice, super kind, very welcoming. How was the castle? Did anyone scare you? Nobody scared me at the castle. No, no ghosts. I gotta be honest with you. Like, I'm glad that we did the castle. It yeah. was fun. Um, I'm so glad that wasn't the trip, though. Yeah. Like, that's not real Ireland. No. You know right, what I mean? That's right. just a fancy uh, yeah. compound. Yeah. It was once we left there and like started staying in Clonakilty. It was beautiful, and uh, Clonakilty was kind of an accidental booking. It mm. just seemed right, and it was in a good middle point for right. us. Yeah. And when we got there. The way the GPS brought us in, it felt like it was like there was nothing here, right? It was like cow pastures. Yeah. Yeah. But then once we got there, we realized like, oh, we're we're like a half a mile from like the town center and it's a fucking postcard. It's yeah. the most beautiful place you've ever been. And it's the childhood home of Michael Collins, who was like the leader of like the Irish independence. Uh, uh, movement, right? right? Uh, he's he's the guy that like signed the treaties and did all the stuff. Um, there's a movie. Uh, Starts so Clooney, right? No, no, it, mm. Liam Neeson. Okay, Liam Neeson plays Michael Collins. Okay, maybe there's um, a different. You're thinking Michael. of Michael Clayton. That's what I am thinking. Yeah, of. yeah. Ocean's Eleven. That's what I was. That's, a that's one also as well. what I was. Thinking. Yeah, <laughs> but no, Michael Collins is like a historical like figure. He's yeah. he's huge. He's he's like the he's you know in a lot of ways like the. Uh, the architect of like the independent Irish nation. Got it. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, you know, so there's a statue there. Liam Neeson unveiled it. Uh, we went to his. Uh, there's a uh, Michael Collins Museum that is like his childhood home. We went there. Wow. And it's just like we walked to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's crazy. It's so beautiful there. Uh, I loved every second of it. Yeah. Um, the Michael Collins stuff was like wow. such a huge bonus. We had no idea about. Finn was like taking that in, which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, beautiful town. Uh, it's so hard because it's it was just a genuinely beautiful 
experience right yeah, yeah. right um and uh, we stayed there and just kind of hit as many places as we wanted to do we saw the cliffs of moor beautiful cold rainy what yeah. are you what are you doing for meals in all this stuff? are you going to independent places are you are uh, independent places yeah. um we we also ate d- dinners at like the airbnb right uh, like, like we stayed in for dinner yeah most of the nights just to save money yep. we have a kid it's easier yep um Best night though, we went for dinner at a pub in Clonakilty, and it was perfect. It was the experience you want, right? Yeah. Uh, we go in, we sit down. I want to know about the food. Right? <laughs> I really do. Yeah, yeah. We sit down, and there's, uh, you know, we're in this pub. There's a, a football game going on, uh, European football, Oof. and I I knew we were in the right place. And I said to Kalina, "We're in the right place. Look over at the bar." Because it was just lined with middle-aged men, like older men, older than middle-aged, all sitting and like talking to each other. They know each other, yeah. all that stuff. I'm like, this is a local place, right. yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and everybody was cool. Everybody was fun. Uh, we, uh, Colleen and I got uh, a Guinness. Obviously, you have to do that. Mm-hmm. The cliche is true. Like, it does taste Tastes better, yeah. so much better. It's, yeah. it's wild. Yeah. Um, the food was delicious. It was it was fantastic. Um, I I don't know. The, none of this is funny. It was just like no, genuinely it's, 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 tell me about wonderful. The food specifically though, yeah. I'm interested. Oh God, talk slowly. <laughs> I want to know. I had a burger. It oh, was really good. Yeah. <laughs> it was Irish cow. <laughs> Uh, One of the most delicious varieties yeah. of cow. Well, it was all like, it's stuff that's... Uh, I didn't know if you had like blood pudding and stuff like that. I did not. Yeah. But it's all very like, you know, it's it's like a lot of European food stuff where, uh, or basically fucking anywhere but America, yep. where it's like fresh is the oh, rule, right? Yeah. Like yeah. everything is local, everything is fresh. Yeah. And it was it was amazing. Uh, down the road was a Klonakilti, uh sausage place right and oh, it's cool. like they make sausage there home of the original recipe of harrington blood sausage Whoa, oh wow did you eat yours. a blood sausage and you're like i did nah, not no thanks. No. <laughs> we had some regular sausages you, from that place yeah i was gonna say you went in and you're like uh my name is harrington do i get a free blood sausage and they're like show me your blood sausage <laughs> you're like, like all right, all right. yeah uh, oh my god <laughs> Yeah. That's a medium sized sausage, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it was it was really wonderful. It was it was fantastic. Um, yeah, the food was delicious. It was fun to see like Harrington things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, there was Fuck like yeah, a dude. Harrington loaf of bread, the Harrington sausage thing. Harrington Pharmacy is in Clonakilty, like all that stuff. And Finn is is into all of this. He's loving it. Yeah, yeah he's loving it. Uh, he got checked out by some local Irish girls. Whoa, Whoa. Finn! Uh, redheads? Uh, no, there's there's far few redheads in ireland it's that's a that's a cliche as well you're so racist you're such a racist is that racist how many yeah. snakes did you see while you were there zero uh. <laughs> they were driven out <laughs> is that really like it's not a thing oh those, no there are yeah. redheads but it's it, even in ireland people are like that you're a redhead oh really yeah there's a thing i think it's it's more northern or dublin area but like there is a saying of basically saying for a redhead Oh, okay. uh, like, oh, she was beautiful for a redhead. Oh, like, a lot of that stuff. Oh, yeah. I love a redhead. Yeah, sure. Leave them. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Why are you petting as you say that? Uh, no, we went into a bookstore in Clonakilty. Harrington Books? Uh, no, and, but we went in and uh, Finn was checking out some books. But meanwhile, there's two local girls. Oh, wow. A little older than Finn oh, okay. sitting uh, and waiting for their dad. Right. And Kalina clocked it and kind of nudged me, and, and I looked over too. And when he came in, both of them were like, "Oh, you know what I mean?" Like yeah. checking, out, Ooh, who, "Who's the new boy?" Right? Yeah. yeah. And so we were teasing him about that. That's oh, funny. yeah, absolutely. Well, how do you like that? He like it? He hooked up with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Same time. Same time. Yeah, Finn. You're yeah. Fuck. I can't wait to give him a fist bump. And I said, "Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> you do that in the erotic fiction <laughs> section." <Yes. laughs> uh, not the teen yeah. paranormal romance. <laughs> yeah. He was doing it by the planners. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to oh. when you go home and Finn's like rubbing his brows like, Ugh. and you're like, "What's wrong?" And he goes, "I got a kid in fucking Ireland." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was really magical. It was a lot of fun. It's so hard to talk about it in like a fun, entertaining way. Uh, no, but it was know. just genuinely e- e- beautiful. Everybody watching this like cares about you and your trip. Sure, yeah. The, 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 yeah no, we be honest. We'll not... it. But I want to, I want to get to this because I went to the Barra Peninsula. Okay. Um, I, I had said ahead of time that I uh, hired like a private tour thing, right? Yeah. Like a guy was going to drive us around. Um, uh, we met with that guy in Killarney and then he was going to drive us through the Barra Peninsula, do the Ring of Barra yeah. down to Castletown Bear where I had tracked down family, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, past family, not right. living. Family. Yeah, you have the feud, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They all passed from the feud. Um, oh, Sullivan's. <laughs> and uh, so uh, we met with the guy and, you know, it's one of those weird things. It's like, we've been emailing. I don't know this dude. His name was Paul Brown. Okay. And fellas, I got to tell you, I have a new Irish grandpa. Yeah. And oh, his name is Paul Brown. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. I, I love, love Paul Brown. I love Paul it. Paul Brown is the sweetest man ever. Wow. I love it. He's a grandpa. Yep. He's a retired uh, police officer yeah. uh, from uh, you know Ireland, so he knows everybody. He does this to like make vacation money for Good. him and his wife. Yeah, and uh, you know he's got his family, and he's like the most delightful gentleman. Yeah, like, yeah. just so kind and wonderful. Yeah, uh, we were talking, and it's like it's that. I think it's an American thing where it's like this is an older man. He was a cop. You get kind of an idea of maybe what kind of person he is yes we're gonna be get together for nine hours today yeah conversation's gonna happen right yeah where does this go yeah sure. is he amiga right yeah. right make ireland great again uh oh if God. only if only we could make ireland great again <laughs> fucking hell. gotta get all the fucking redheads Englishman. out of here fucking <laughs> uh, it's the english we gotta get rid of them. Yeah. well they did uh mostly uh, but anyway, uh, uh, he was so nice. Like he had his his van. Uh, he was like, you know, anybody want to sit up front? Finn was just like, I want to sit up front. Yeah, great. Nice. There is an irony in the fact that like this was a huge thing. First time I've been to Ireland. First time Kalina's been to Ireland and Finn, and we paid for this tour. And Finn sat up front and saw everything the best. Right oh, where it yeah. is just like, hey man, you owe me five hundred euro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, it was it was great. That's uh, great. But he's he's talking to Finn. He's telling him stuff. He he knew so much about the region. It was fucking fascinating. Yeah, That's awesome. and I've never like I loved uh, Alaska and it was beautiful. The the Barra Peninsula is indescribably beautiful i saw uh, you know you posted, posted a photo a lot of uh, uh, yeah a photo or two and you were like this is not filtered and i'm yeah. like yeah right ray, ray used ai to create like a magical landscape <laughs> it's unbelievable it yeah. really is like yeah. you go through there's there's terrain that is like this like like rounded boulder mountains that i can't i don't know how to describe it. You'll, you can see some of the photos yeah. on my social media yeah um it is so fucking picturesque like it's so hard to describe it really just look at some of the photos craig i'm craig, sure you, throw can, them in you there. can throw them come on craig what are you doing but it doesn't do it any justice I because it's like being there and and seeing that is amazing yeah. yeah and uh you know going through that that area and hearing you know the descriptions from my new grandfather yes. paul brown as a guy who didn't grow in, grow oh, up wow. with you know a dad Gr- and grandpa have paul. that do you call him Fuck. grandpa paul grandpa brown peepaw uh, probably, Brown boy. probably just uh, Mr. Paul, sir. A lot of that, little, uh, yeah. you know, because I have an issue with older yeah, males. I can't, true. you know, right. like I, when I when you when you when you send him your holiday cards this year. Yeah, you, like who are you addressing it to? Like Paul Brown, but then inside when you write him a note, I would say Paul. Okay, and then in my secret heart, I would say Grampy. Well, you know what. <laughs> Grampy. <laughs> Grampy Paul. I'll, be, I'll bet Paul Brown is a fun bear. So if you're out there, Grampy. It, Paul Brown, if you're listening to this, genuinely, uh, I I ended that day with you and said to my wife when we got in the car, "Is it weird that I have like emotions about Paul Brown? Like I love that man." Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That was the takeaway. Yeah. He was he was so wonderful. Uh, you know, just some of the stories he was talking about, like that beautiful thing about like really being like local to the area. Yeah. Uh, like passing, uh, <laughs> like passing a guy. And he, he waves to him, 
And he says something out the window like, how you doing? You know, da, da, da. And we drive away from the guy and he's like, oh, that's so-and-so. You know, he's a lovely fellow, salt of the earth, dumb as a wheelbarrow, right? <laughs> he drops yeah, that. He's yeah. like, he's got a sister. She's twice as dumb and twice as bad, you know, yeah, like yeah. stuff like that. And it was just like, this is real. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, no, that's great. Um, but going... see, so I drive around with Chuck, who is local to the area. And I know yeah. a lot and, of other things. knows a lot of people, except he's, he's, he's like, that place... I had a sexual encounter there, and then we drive down yeah, a little. This he's place like, I'm right not there allowed to go to because of a sexual yeah, encounter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, gonna... it's it's just bragging. Yeah, uh, you know it's... <laughs> it's just bragging. I just want to say this: I went out to lunch with someone of influence at some point recently, and I was like, I wonder if other people talk like I do. Joe Biden, and we walked out of a bar. It was during. It wasn't like we were drunk. It was just in the middle of the day. Right. And he and he, we walked by this <laughs> building next door. He goes, "Is that building right here?" And he goes, "He goes." Fuck five girls in that building. And I was like, fuck yeah, we gave her five five. Was it <laughs> at the same time? Was was it Finn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were in Ireland. <laughs> Yikes. Uh no, but he he was genuinely like the kindest guy, right? Yeah. And yeah. uh learned a lot about the region. Uh and it, it just I think what overwhelmed me about the Barra Peninsula, like that that day, like yeah. it just kept going. Yeah. It kept going to another place that was stunning and overwhelming I in bet. its beauty. And then you'd go a little further and now it's a different place that's overwhelmingly beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh and you know these little towns and uh like there's the uh the Iries which is uh like a little neighborhood a little north of Castletown Bear. Mm -hmm. And they just have a thing uh it, where uh, all the all the people that live in the houses along the main road like they all agree we're going to paint our houses wild colors oh, oh I love it. yeah so you go past this like beautiful I, idyllic area all that's houses just, should be gray or beige oh the brad <laughs> rules yeah hoa brad yeah uh and, it's and beige is too fine for <laughs> <laughs> so we went to castletown bear we had lunch there yeah uh you know fish and chips uh you got to do oh, it because yeah. uh castletown how bear, was the fish and chips fucking amazing right Woo! yeah, yeah. Castletown, you ask about the specific fish it was haddock uh, but Castletown Bear is the second largest fishing uh, region in uh, in Ireland. Okay, nice. uh, so we did that. Uh, I had you like the food. Mm -hmm. I had a seafood chowder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was no thank next you. level. <laughs> It was next level. Here's why I got it. Chuck's booking a flight right now. We, is that is that what you call coming? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna book a flight. It's not. It's not what I call it. It's the middle seat. <laughs> oh, it, early departure. <laughs> Priority boarding. Yeah. Uh, hey, shut up. Do you want to get bumped? <laughs> anyway, um, let's do more of these flight jizz ones. <laughs> so uh, here's where where you will take off. Yeah. Um, uh, we sit down for lunch and <laughs> Paul is eating lunch with us. Yep. This is what I mean by it's like, I'm going to show up to this guy early in the morning. He's going to take us for the whole day. Like, I hope I like this person yeah. Yeah. and can get along with him. Yeah. And then he's just like, gen like the most genuinely wonderful man in the world. Yeah. Like, uh, if you met Paul Brown and then you met Charlie uh, Bucket's uncle, <laughs> Mm -hmm. or grandpa, sorry, yeah, grandpa yeah. from yeah. Willy Wonka. Yep. Yeah. You'd be like, that guy's a bit of a dick. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Charlie's Charlie's grandpa is kind of a dick. Yeah, sure. compared to Paul Brown. Wow. Um, so we sit down for lunch, and I'm like, lunch is on me. You know, let's do this. And he's like, oh, don't even worry about it. I'm gonna get a coffee and this seafood chowder. Every time I come to town, I say we should uh, eat at this place. This is the best place to eat, and I always get the chowder. That's all I get. I like seafood chowder. I've tried. A bunch of different places on these tours that I take people on. This is the one I always come back to. It's the best thing in the world. Wow! And I was like, I'm gonna have it. Yeah. Right. And it it is. What was in it? Tell me what was in it. Seafood. Oh, scallops. it's like haddock, uh, scallops. I'm sure clams, like stuff like that. Sure. Um, it's like a fish chowder. Yes. Uh, but the base of this thing, like p there was potatoes. Yes. But it was like very dilly. Ooh. It had a lot of dill flavor Ooh, to it. And like a black pepper kind of yes, kick to it. Yeah, the pep. It was so fucking good. Oh, it was wow. so good. It wow. was it really was. And like that was a cream base, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. I creamed based. Uh, huh? My base. I'm my baster. <laughs> <laughs> so Boz. Ah, yeah. 
Uh, but it was so damn good. And damn. it's it's that rule of like, if you see the guy that is a super local dude yeah. who knows what he's doing, if he's like, I get this and only this, yeah. that's what you get, yeah, right? For sure. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, saw Castletown Bear. And I had managed to track down a uh, grave site yeah. of a uh, relative of mine yeah. that was in that town. Yeah. And I I did the digging, and it was my second great grandfather. When you say you did, did the digging, yeah. yes, it was my second great grandfather. Uh, I had mentioned it in passing to Paul. Yep. Yeah. And I was like, "But if we can't make it there, it's totally fine." He's on his phone. He's like, "What's it called?" I'm looking it up. Like he pushed. Yeah. Me to go. Yeah. Uh, we found the cemetery. We went to the cemetery. I'm like, "It's it. You know, if we don't see the the grave site, that's fine. The 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 headstone. If we can't find it, it's okay." And I'm being very passive about yeah. it. But he's he's walking through. He's looking for. What about over here? What about? He's so into it for me. Yeah. Yeah. And I genuinely think like if we had just gone on our own. And Paul wasn't there. I don't think I would have gone. Hmm. And he pushed me to do it. We found it. Yeah. Um, and I was reading the headstone, and I'm and I'm checking the stuff. And I was like, I I had a doubt creep in. Okay. That I was wrong about the grave. Right. Mm. About who this guy was. There's a lot of Harringtons. Yeah. Sure. And uh, Cornelius Harrington is who I was looking for. My like my great great inventor of corned beef. Uh, oh, the Sullivans would be so <laughs> mad at you. Um, but. Uh, I found it, and on the headstone it says he's buried with his wife Ellen, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I, I thought it was not Ellen. Mm. I thought it was Julia. Okay, and so I didn't say anything. He's a bigamist, but I Ooh. let it pass. Right, like I was right. like, oh, this is very nice. It's a beautiful thing. Yep. And uh, you know, Paul's standing there with me. He's like, do you want a moment? I'm like, no, it's okay because I have this doubt in my head. Right. right? Yeah. And then he said. I think one of the sweetest things, and I'm going to paraphrase it, I'm going to butcher it, but it, like, you might as well hear the, the fife quietly in the background mm-hmm. and you know, all that stuff playing. But he was like, you know, so many people left. Uh, you know, Ireland is a, is a country of people that have had to leave, whether it was the famine and they were starving, mm-hmm. whether it was the troubles, you know, all the things. You, know, you had to go where there was money. You had no choice. It was either stay and starve or leave and make a new life. Right. Yeah. Uh, and so many people have left. But you coming back here, you flying here with your family when your great great grandfather got on a ship for seven weeks to leave, it means he did it because he wanted better for his children and his yeah. children's children. Yeah, right. And you coming back is proof of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's great. And I was like, wow, what a beautiful yeah. moment. Yep. And I had this seed of doubt the whole time. Right. Yeah. I get home yesterday. Mm. I go back to the genealogy stuff. Yep. I double check everything. All the dates line up. Everything matches. The locations are all the same. Uh, and Julia, who would be my great great grandmother, was his first wife. Oh, she passed away. Yep. Ellen was the second wife. Yep. Oh. So it's all confirmed. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. And that's when I got like choked up. When yeah. I confirmed yeah. it, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's, that's my great great grandfather. Yeah. yeah. Right here in this beautiful place. That's awesome. It was it was really stunning because like I come from like such a small family. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a very small family. Now it's just my mom that's left. That's yeah, it. yeah, right. Um, and, you know, I didn't have any males in my life. I didn't have a, a, a large extended family of any kind. Yeah. So to have that rooting yeah. is really, really special. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And to now know the area, it's so much different than just reading like, oh, he was he lived in Ireland. Yeah. And, da, da, yeah, da, da. Yeah. and it's like, no, no, no. I know that he started in Kilcatherine, which was like, uh, two miles north of Castletown Bear. I've been there. And he ended his life in uh, in the Iries, which is another neighborhood of Castletown Bear. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the place with all those beautiful houses. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. I know what it is. Yeah, that's awesome. And it was just, it was really magical. You could put all the Irish folk music behind it. It was gorgeous, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, really, really wonderful. Um, uh, and then uh, the next day is when I did the show. Yes. Uh, yeah, here's where funny show. happens. Yes. Yeah. So that was all beautiful, and that's that's my mindset 
going okay. into this. Right. Yeah. right. That's my headspace. Yeah. The next day we stayed in Clonakilty uh, because we had done a long day driving around. Yeah. Uh, we went through the town. We we did all the the fun stuff. We went to the Michael Collins Museum. It yep. was really wonderful. So uh, at this point in the trip, you're <clears throat> thinking everything's going great. Like this is awesome. Yeah. It's exactly what I want. I'm feeling like a connection. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Which is really, great. which is completely opposite of being in the headspace of I'm a comedian and I'm doing a show. Right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, got Finn to bed. I'm exhausted. And now I got to go drive, drive, an, drive hour an hour on the wrong to side a of the city road. I don't know. Yeah. Right. In the dark alone on twisty roads. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the city is like complicated and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't even know if I'm in the right place. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So I, I get in there. I do the thing driving into a parking garage on the other side is weird yeah sure. it's Ooh. weird yeah for sure yeah and yeah. then knowing that i'm i'm getting the ticket for the for the parking thing on this side i'm like huh yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> i pulled up to that thing so far away from it. <laughs> like, ah, i'll get it but uh yeah so I, I show up there uh it was at the city limits comedy club okay in cork um it was an experience. It yeah. really was a very... It, so I, I get there a little early because I, I just didn't know about right. the drive and yep. stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm outside and this guy's... I just hear, Ray! Ray! And I'm like, oh, what is happening right now? Yeah. And it's the owner of the comedy club. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wonderful guy. Very nice. His name's Brian. He's a great guy. If you're watching this, Brian, I really enjoyed myself. Uh, but I also did clock a lot of this stuff to talk about on the podcast. So, uh, <laughs> so I show up. He's wow. he's two new Irish fun bears. What a day! He's being very 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 nice. He's yep. showing me the club. He's talking to me about stuff. It's like twenty five years the club's been running. Uh, he's got uh, posters of like all the the headliners he's had. Yep. Um, and it's like tons of people. It's it's really wonderful. Um, there's a comic I really enjoy who passed recently, Sean Locke, who's a UK comic. Yep. He was like the first headliner of that club. Interesting. Uh, and then all of these like American people that that we would recognize. Yeah, yeah. And then also all the great like UK people, yeah, right? Right. Flight of the Concords have performed. Like it's just everybody. Yeah. Um he's like, so uh uh I had another fellow working here today. He fucking called out. So it's just me. So he was running the door, <laughs> the bar, and starting the show. Woo! It was wild. Yeah. yeah. Uh it was a nice venue. Uh, I liked the venue. Um, I met the two other comics on the show. Uh, originally, it was going to be like this one guy's headlining show. And then I had reached out and said, hey, can I do a show with you? And he turned it into like a double headliner. So yep. I'm. it went from this guy's poster to our poster. And I was like, I feel weird about that. Yeah. I, I don't want to step on toes. Sure. Right? Yeah, I understand. I don't know if he felt that way. He was a perfectly nice guy. But I don't know, right? Yeah. So I'm just trying to be polite. And uh, so I meet the guys. I'm chatting with them. Brian shows me the room. Uh, he's busy getting drinks for people, taking tickets at the door. A line is happening at either one when he's not there. Right. He is doing... I will. I, like, I would answer a question, and he would be tickled by my accent. Right. And then do a... Like Sopranos slash New Yorker, hey, I'm walking here <laughs> accent back at me. I'm wondering if I was really hoping you dealt with stuff like that. Yeah, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> what? Yeah. Also, you know what I didn't do to anybody when I was there? Oh, how are you doing? Your face is on You know what I mean? I'm not doing that yeah. to anyone. Uh, see? I, you I should have been more like old Chuck. I did it in the car when I was with Finn and Kalina. I'm like, see, this is safe. Yeah. I can do it here. At one point, we were walking through, uh, through I, wherever we were. Uh, it was either Cork. might have been Cove. Uh, but we were there, and I, I'm talking to Finn, and I went, where? Oh, no, can't do that. <laughs> I caught myself mid mid whale, um, but uh, yeah. So he's he's doing his thing. He comes rushing over. Brian, the owner, right, comes rushing over to me and the other two comics. We're just chatting. I'm like, you know, how's how's it here? So, oh, it's, yep. it's a small circuit, small circuit of comedy around here. Mm. Da, 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 da. Yep. Um, he comes rushing over. He's like, he's like, Joe's here. Tell Joe he's here. I'm like, uh, what? And then the other two comics are like. Oh my God! Fucking Joe's here. Tell Joe. He why why did he come to the comedy show, right? 
and I'm like, hey, who's Tell Joe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, and they're uh, like, yeah, yeah, I got me. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a nice try, fella. <laughs> or should I say, ah, oh, who's that Joe fella? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I know you so well, and I know that you would get so annoyed with that. It wasn't annoying. It was really fun. The The only annoyance was there was no one else for me to look at and go, what is happening? Right? Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. me going, yes, <laughs> that is what I sound like. You know, I sound like, hey, I'm walking here. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> say it, say it, say it. Forget about it. Like, ah! Forget about it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so uh yeah, so uh apparently Joe hosts Ireland's biggest radio show. Yeah. In the whole country. And the idea is like people call in and it's tell Joe. Oh, right? okay. So oh, it was Joe. like but I'm like, uh, okay, but you know, radio is different in yes. Europe and in the UK. Yeah. It's, there's well, there's much more prominent radio people, yeah. oh, right? Cool. Richard there Osler. are there are big radio personalities here. Yeah, uh, Stern. There were you know more previous, yeah. like when radio was was much bigger. But radio has stayed a big thing right. in in the cool. EU and the UK. That's an interesting. Yeah, difference. so it's like a thing, right? And uh, like one of the guys tried to say to me, he's like, uh, Joe's like uh, Ireland's uh, Howard Stern. And I'm like, okay, I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> He doesn't look like Howard Stern. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He looks like a man who has like hard candies in his pocket right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, really nice guy. But How do you was, know Howard Stern doesn't have hard candy in his pocket? That is, that's not hard candy. Uh, that was, that was a bad Howard Stern. No, no, I admit, but it's great uh, in terms of what yeah. he would say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it's oh, did he have a stroke? <laughs> it's hard to do that. Oh, did he have a stroke? You know, some people can do Larry David really well, yeah. but there's something about the dullness of saying those words yeah, and yeah, making yeah. it that, that's really difficult for me. Like, that's you know, I, like, you know, it's hard for me to do. Yeah. Can Obviously. You, can yeah. you do that? Uh, maybe on another episode. Apatow, Apatow yeah. is in that direction as well. Yeah, and it, but it's hard for me to do. Um, I don't know. We work on it. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll 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 do a little workshopping. You, you know? know? I don't know. Nope. That's <laughs> Apatow. That's Apatow. <laughs> oh, okay. What is it? I guess okay. he goes like, "Sorry, Judd." You know, it's be shiny, man. Like it's it. But do you know what I mean? How there's like no. A, this just sounds mean. How there's generally like a. He was kicked in the head by a donkey? No, like, well, Apatow, I think, has a real uh, runny nose type of thing that's a big part of his accent. Do you think that? I've he's ne- kind of like... I think we're veering yeah. towards, like, uh, a Semitism conversation. Uh, no, I don't think so. Really? Is it? Is it? Is it a Jewish accent thing? I think? mean, the three people you're talking about are all Jewish. Mm, oh, Howard Stern, too? Is, oh, wait. Is Howard Stern... I don't know. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. I don't like where this is, and I want to. Are they all New York people? Larry David and Howard Stern both are. Yes, and also famously, uh, there is like in the conservative movement, uh, uh, there's the uh, saying "New Yorkers" means really Jews. Yeah. Oh wow! The wow. Wowdy. So, <laughs> That's should, a wow wowdy. Howdy. Someone should tell the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, I I was like, okay, I guess Joe's a guy. Yeah. I didn't really think think much of it, but then I was in like this little outside smoking section before the show, and I hear people from the audience are in there going, "Is that fucking Joe? <laughs> Is that fucking Tell Joe over there?" I That's knew fun. it was Joe. I'm like, wow. Like, I guess that tells you how big he is. Yeah, he's a radio host, and everybody knows what he looks like. Right. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, so he's there. Um, uh, first comic goes up, does about like 20 minutes. Funny, really yep. nice guy. I really enjoyed watching his set. Um, and then I was going to go after... Then there, then there was an intermission. Because it's like a... You know, that's how shows happen yeah. in the EU and UK. There's an intermission. Mm. Uh, so then I was going to go up. And the, the owner, Brian, in the email was like, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Uh, I get there. He's like, you know, do, do, do uh, 15, 20, whatever. And then he's talking to me later. He's like, yeah, 20, 25, doesn't matter. Yep. And then he's talking to the group of us telling us times. And he's like, and uh, you'll do uh, 15. And uh, and I'm like, okay. And then right before I go up, he's like, I'm going to light you at 20. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he goes to introduce me. Uh, he starts the introduction. 
you guys all recognize him from Fun Bearable, and everyone goes crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Joe's like, boo, yeah. boo. <laughs> Podcasts are killing radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This guy's going to bury me. Yeah. Uh, or marry me. <laughs> uh, and so, <laughs> so he's doing the intro, and somebody says something, and he stops, and he opens his jacket and pulls out a gun and points it at the audience member. Now, it was a fake gun. But it was realistic enough for the first moment to be like, he just pulled a fucking gun. Yep. Right? And then he starts doing stuff with that, and he's making jokes. And Well, you're an American so what's, comic. What's, well, he didn't even make that joke. Can ah! I ask what the bit is? The bit is that he has a gun. <laughs> Classic comedy. The bit is like that's how he'll like do crowd control. Hey, you better be quiet. I'll shoot you, like that kind of stuff. And like how you know the police don't have guns, so now it doesn't even matter if they come. Only outlaws. Have guns. Yeah, and I'm just like I don't. <clears throat> so you couldn't do that part of your. Yeah, that's yeah true. exactly. That goes. <laughs> so I so I took my gun out. And I put it down. Uh, but it was very odd. It was a very odd moment where I was like, "What the fuck?" He stops my introduction three times to do more of the gun bit with people. <laughs> I've never been introduced like for such a long period. This is like yep. a five minute introduction. Yep. Finally, I go up on stage and the first thing I said was something along the lines of like, I can't believe I had to fly 3000 miles to come to Ireland for someone to finally pull a gun on stage. Yep. Mm -hmm. And because everybody knows I'm American yep. and everybody laughs, it was a good time. But it was... Truly bizarre. And yeah. I have no one else to be like, what's happening? Yeah. The other two comics, they're like, this is what Brian does. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of his shticks. He's got the gun. That's really funny. Does he do any other prop stuff? Uh, he reads like a poster thing that was from a bathroom wall <laughs> okay. later, I guess. But, nice. you know, it was it was an odd moment. Yeah. It was definitely an odd moment. <laughs> Brian, if you're watching this, you're a great guy. I don't get that fucking gun bit, though. I don't get it. Um, How did the audience react? Uh, kind, they were laughing. <laughs> but I think if a Nervously. comedian is pointing a gun at you, you're probably going to be like... <laughs> no. I think that's the whole idea of the Joker, right? Yeah. <laughs> so... So uh, I go up. He's, he's like, I like the cut of this guy's jacket. <laughs> no, he's he's in the back. This is a great idea. Yeah. Um, so climb into refrigerator. I uh, I I I you know did did my set. I was definitely not in the headspace of performing. Yeah. I was just so in this other place. But I had never performed in Ireland. I wanted to see what that was. Oh yeah, you got to do it. Yeah, and it Plus, was well. So much of your American set is like just jokes about the Irish. Yeah, yeah. like the, really, the real right? Like they drink, stuff. they fight. Yeah, yeah all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but no, it was really fun. Uh, I purposely did uh, a newer bit that I have that I didn't. I had. N it was the one bit. If you said, "What's the one that you're least sure about doing here?" Yeah, I'd be like this one, uh, cake. Cake is getting yeah. right um, because I don't know. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't know. All I know is Ireland is like very Catholic, yes. right? Mm. Uh, and I don't know how this is going to play here. Sure, it killed. Good. It was great. Great. Uh, I actually didn't even get a chance to get to like closing the set. Mm. Uh, you know, with I was just going to do like, <laughs> the light came on at six minutes. <laughs> a gun went off at yeah. six minutes. <laughs> No, I uh, uh, I was I was playing. I was just doing some different stuff. He reaches the curtain. And gun goes <laughs> yeah. in your back. Oh, it's it's my time. It's my time. <laughs> just like, Ch -ch -ch. That's what you hear. Yeah. Um. But so uh, I was I I ended up doing some crowd work stuff, and it was like so fun. Yeah. To do crowd work in that. Place. Oh yeah, that like is, I don't know what's gonna happen. That's fun. Did you yeah. record with your phone at least audio? I did record audio. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I really wish I had recorded video. I talked myself out of it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is a new place. I don't want to set up. I don't want them to see me setting up my camera. Yeah, yeah I know. You know. I know. So, but I wish I had because there was a really fun interaction. Like there was just a lot of fun. Like they well, it's are so unique. It's such a special thing to have. Yeah, and they're very different. Like the the audience there. Like when I got right. off stage, one of the comics was like, "Oh yeah, this is a cork audience." Like they they're very tight, and then pop. Yeah, and then yeah. back to really tight, and then pop. And any kind of like uh, rhetorical question, they someone will answer. It. Oh, like uh, it's that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and so like a lot of literal stuff, yeah. right? 
but it was fun because like I'm doing crowd work and there's this couple and the guy's a safety advisor and I'm asking him what that means and I'm yeah. like I feel like you're pulling me into your relationship and yeah. yeah then I can do play playful stuff of like if if we do a threesome I feel like I I feel like in a threesome scenario I would need a safety advisor you know yeah. Yeah, stuff like that yeah yeah but uh, what I wish I had uh, recorded was a really fun interaction I said I was six seven at some point and this really tall guy from Cary is like, you're not 6'7", I'm 6'7", I've been talking to me, girl, you're 6'5", you're 6'5". And it was weird for him to be like sizing me up from <laughs> yeah, the stage. That's great. Yeah, Inaccurately. Yeah, and so I was like, well, there's only one way to solve this. Yeah. Uh, and this is why I wish I had this clip. Uh, yeah. I, I don't want to be the comedian telling you a thing that happened on stage, but this is it's where okay. we are. Um, I said, there's only one way to solve this. Uh, you have to come up on stage. Yeah. And we stand really close together and we kiss. Yeah, yeah. And whoever's upper lip is higher in the kiss <laughs> yeah. is their tallest. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and they loved it. They're they're everybody's laughing. It was really, really fun. And yeah. like I had to look at my watch. I'm like, oh, it's I'm at twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go. And I ended on crowd work. Yeah. And yeah. uh, you know, really nice applause. Like I felt really good. I got some applause breaks during the set. Like it felt good as a comedian. I feel really good about having done it. That's right? great. That's awesome. Yeah, it was wonderful. Unfortunately, he then called for another inter uh, intermission. Brian. Yep. Gun gu gunman uh, Brian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I was like, I gotta go. Right. I thought this show started at eight. Is what he said in the email. Yep. And I get there, and he's like, No, doors are at eight. The show's at nine. Yeah. And I'm like, Fucking tell me that. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So it was like. It was like 11, and I was like, I got to go, man. I yeah. can't do this anymore. I, I have to drive an hour back. I'm yeah. exhausted. So I, I missed the uh, the final comic, uh, unfortunately. But uh, it was it was a blast. I'm, I'm happy I did That's it. Awesome. It was one of those things I immediately, when it was done, I was like, I want to do it again when I'm fully in the mindset. Yeah, yeah. you course, know what I mean. Of course, yeah, yeah. 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 But it was it was a great time. That's uh, why we're happy to announce the fun bearable European tour. Yeah. We're going to do it, and this time, Brad gets the gun. <laughs> uh, I will say this, though. I, Which I, one's the real one? <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, yeah, Rosie talk knows. to Joe. The owner pulled the gun. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have two other Ireland things. Um, I had a wonderful experience when I was in a pub uh, the last night that we were there before we came home. Yep. Um, uh, we go into this pub. There's music. People are singing along with the songs. It's like the most cliche thing, but yeah. it's what you want, right? Mm -hmm. And I go out in the little smoking section. Uh, you know, we get Finn to bed, cleans up there. I go down to, to, to the little smoking section thing. And there's a guy, there's a group of musicians talking. Mm -hmm. I'm standing a little further down the bar outside. And then this drunk man comes in yeah. and he kind of wobbles and he looks at me and he's like, hey, you know, and I think he thought he knew me mm -hmm. uh, and then realized he didn't. Yeah, so he then he went over to the, the group. Yeah. And I'm overhearing. Is that a fucking Harrington over there? Is that a fucking Harrington? Yeah. Was sorry. That the sorry. Guy? Fekin. Sorry. Is that the guy that Tell Joe was talking about? <laughs> 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 the one who didn't get the gun bit? <laughs> the classic gun bit? <laughs> it's supposed to be comedy. <laughs> Where's your gun? Yeah. 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 You have to understand Irish independence to get it, you fat fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, uh, so he starts talking to the uh, the group of gentlemen there. And I really did like hearing a lot of like the Irish uh, isms and yeah. little yeah, things. Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this drunk guy does not know the group of, of uh, musicians. Okay. Mm -hmm. Slowly, the group of musicians like peel off, and it gets down to like two guys and the and the drunk guy. Right. Yeah. One of the two guys leaves. Right. And uh, the drunk guy's talking to the final musician guy, and drunk guy goes, "I'll tell you a riddle. Who the fuck was that about the guy that just left?" Yep. And he's like, "Oh, that's you know, that's that's Dave, Dave yep. so and so, whatever." And he's like, "Oh, okay. Who are you?" <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, I'm Chris, whatever, da, da, da. And he's like, oh, and he shakes hand, nice to meet you. And they start talking more. It was genuinely so entertaining to me. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm not explaining it properly. No. But the idea, I'll tell you a riddle, <laughs> who the fuck was that, yeah. is... I, you don't even need a gun, and it's funny. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I like the phrasing yeah. of it. I'll yeah. I tell you a riddle. Who the fuck was I, that? I, yeah. I'd like to start prefacing questions with, yeah, I'll, I'll tell, tell you a riddle. riddle. Yeah. I think it's funny... I think it's funny on its own if he did know the gentleman he was talking to. Yeah, correct. 
it is infinitely funnier yeah. that an outside man yep. came yes. into this conversation <laughs> yeah. and said to one of the guys that knows the other person that's what I thought who the fuck is that guy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As, if so they, as if they were the friends and the other person yeah. was the this outsider this guy's the weirdo yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this guy that you've known for years who yeah. the no, fuck that is, is that guy that's very funny it was so that, funny oh, that's great uh, and then uh, the last little like weird thing I, there's a million things I should have written out stuff I'm sorry but no, uh, it's okay uh, when we flew back into Ireland from London, yes, which I got to get to London. There's stuff in there that you're gonna, ooh, you're gonna take off for oh, sure. I can't wait. Yeah, uh, we, chowder, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> chowder hour with, okay. with Chuck Staten. Can I do a gun thing real quick? So he's doing his gun bit, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he goes, he's like, hold on, he's like, I don't want to get in trouble. I got to use my silencer. <laughs> he takes a potato. <laughs> that's racist. an Irish that's racist. gun. Bit. That's a racist. That's a racist. What you just did. Those are my people. It's weird because the gun really goes against what I would think of Ireland, right? Historically, no. No? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know about I, Irish and guns. Irish independence. Uh, the 1922. 1922. They, they were fighting have. against the British. Mm. 1922, man. Yeah. I think about Started the, in 1916. I think about the Boston Tea Party a lot. Yeah. Eh, the just, new one. I'm just confused by it. I, I can we put a pin in that for another episode? Yes. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. That's a whole story, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, we fly back in uh, from London, and we spent one night uh, in Ireland, then flew home, right? Right. Yeah. So uh, we land, we get in a cab, uh, and the cab driver, Chuck. I forgot to uh, add this to my list of oh things my gosh, to she's say. A hot redhead. I swear to you, this cab driver. We got out of the cab, and I said to Kalina that is Irish Walt Flanagan. Oh! Whoa. And she looked at me and went, oh, you're right. Wow. Looked exactly like Walt. Handsome. Wow. Take out the accent. Yeah. His voice sounded exactly like Walt. Really? So yeah. Flanagan's Irish, right? Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. He was called Flan Pig by someone who was trying to get Ooh. after him. Maybe it, was, maybe it was Wilt Flanagan. Oh, <laughs> was the cab driver? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was Wilt Flanagan. That's so, great. That's yeah. fun. I like that. I like an Irish. Wall. It was. It was so funny. I. I. Uh, yeah. It was great. But uh, we get in the cab. The radio is on, and this man is listening to on the radio death announcements for the area. Right. <laughs> we get in the cab, and it's just death announcements being read. <laughs> you know, Fanny McDougal. Yep. 85, lived in such and such. The family asked that you don't send anything. Just make a donation in Fanny's wow. name. Why? Why, are you, doing, at this why time. are you doing radio obituaries? Well, radio is like the thing, right? And oh, everybody, wow. it's a small... Do you know that... Uh, I'll get into that in a minute, but... Uh, yes, yeah, because the Irish are famously illiterate. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's not true. It's wow. not true. That's why I was laughing I come when home I said it. And I tell you guys <laughs> my beautiful trip, and then you have both levied the most racist <laughs> accusations and insinuations I've never been more offended in my Mine life. Mine is that the Irish don't use guns, which was, okay, I get it. I'm wrong. I get so, it. So, of course, I'm not going to get service for this next thing. But, uh, so, the, I really wish I had service. There we go. Okay. So, the death announcements are right. playing. I want to be clear. This is not like NPR or like a super local quiet <laughs> radio thing. What's what? what? This, this is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And Finn's in the backseat like, what the fuck is this about? And I'm sitting there like, oh, boy, okay. Uh it is a rock station okay. that is doing this because the announcements end, and it's like if you have a death announcement that you want to send in email duh, 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 yep. at fucking like Red FM, you know, blah yeah, blah yeah. blah, uh, and then here's an here's an hour of music, and it goes into "Don't Speak" by No Doubt what? immediately after, and it made me hear that song very differently. Yes. Yeah. Let me read you the lyrics. Yeah. Good. After 15 minutes of death announcements. <laughs> I'm going to think about 1995 Gwen Stefani in a blue dress. Ooh. No, no. Think of like an elderly Irish woman who just died. Okay. Okay. And the family listening to this radio announcement. It's just a really nice reason, It's grieving. just a really nice blue dress. You and me, we used to be together. Every, <laughs> every day, day together, together. Always. always. I really feel that I'm losing my best friend. I can't, I can't believe, believe this, this could, could be, be the end. end. Yeah. It looks as though we're letting you're letting, letting go. go. And if it's real, well, I don't want to know. 
It's that's that's insane. Yeah. The whole thing is like, oh no, that's not a breakup. The idea of obituaries in the radio is so funny to me. It just tickles me. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Our memories, well, they can be inviting, but some are altogether mighty, mighty frightening. frightening. As we die, both you and I, with my head in my hands, I sit and cry. Yeah. Oh, don't speak is about Nana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what's so funny. It's I think maybe what I've never thought about because like I, I when I ever since I was a kid, I looked at the newspaper and the news, and sometimes I'm like. Why are they telling people all this stuff? Like police mm-hmm. reports sometimes are weird to me. It's like yeah. that you know this neighbor called this and uh, the police came and nothing happened. I'm always like I was like why do they do this? State and comma Chuck found in bushes again. <laughs> yeah. Well, the why idea- do they get to tell everybody my business? <laughs> <laughs> bushes marked as biohazard. <laughs> the idea of giving a voice to the obituaries yeah yeah is so funny to play with i just think about like morning radio like it's an snl sketch yeah morning yeah. radio doing the obituaries of like you know and they've got the soundboard oh yeah yeah and it's oh like, yeah well, i immediately thought Fanny when you McDougal. said that Whoosh. <laughs> I, when you when you said that i thought morning radio yeah yes. yeah, oh. yeah m-o-u that is our low budget comedy like okay. the, the idea of like us it. in unfun bearable being like you know uh in ireland ray went to ireland he's really inspired by how uh they have radio culture where so many more things are communicated yep. we're going to start incorporating some of that stuff yeah so we're just going to be reading obituaries you know we have different takes on how we should do it and we're all pitching like that's so funny to me already dylan o'sullivan 78 died quickly would he go like <laughs> would he, he go like cro- this? he crossed a harrington would he go like this would he go marco hurley Ah, oh, I hate to hear it. Seven, seven. <laughs> no, he didn't say, oh, yeah, no. hate to hear it. <laughs> and he goes, 17. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. That's why he hates yeah, to hear yeah, it. Because, yeah. like, you know, yeah. there's different... Some, How about... Some deaths are expected, and some are much more tragic. What about uh, Margaret Houlihan, Barn, uh, February 12th. Oh, no. Died February 13th. <laughs> for, for sale. Oh, yeah, baby shoes. <laughs> Uh-huh. Never used. I, I was, uh, anyway, uh, I was thinking you might do like, <clears throat> like uh, you know, like Marco Hurley. I'll use Marco Hurley, like you know, born whatever, blah blah blah. Died whatever. Died in a. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Papa went the same way, and he's like reading, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, the idea of just a person being brought into communicating obituaries. Yeah. Would they hilarious. also do like wedding announcements? I don't like, know. I didn't hear the wedding announcements. Yeah, yeah. maybe you just caught like, uh, you know, the the yeah. the wrong I, I I you know, all the if all the information is being presented that way. Yeah. Maybe there's That's happy what I'm news being Maybe it's like Claire Kelly died in her sleep along with the two passengers in her car. <laughs> <laughs> That's so you dumb. Into joke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but no, so uh, Ireland genuinely like overwhelmingly beautiful i yeah. loved it that's great uh i had an immediate feeling and i think kalina we we talked about it uh you know it really was like we we split this trip into two separate weeks right, right. week one ireland week two london and i really did feel at the end of that week like i don't want to go i want to yeah. stay and do more here yeah. there's way more to see because we stayed in the kind of southwest part of right. uh of ireland i want to see the rest i want to go on like a, a like a road trip through ireland yep. yeah that is my new like i have to do that thing nice uh i really want to do it and i'd love to like incorporate some kind of like doing stand up along with it or something that would be very different i wouldn't want to bring finn and kalina for that kind of thing right yeah and i also wouldn't want to attach that kind of thing were i doing it with finn and kalina right, right. i get it yeah uh, but it was it was genuinely beautiful. Uh, I, I, love I it. feel so good, and it's wild that there's so many people that are like, "I'm Irish," you know, and yeah. try to connect in that way. And I'm kind of shocked that it was so directly connected. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? That's great. That's awesome. Um, I can't I can't speak highly enough of, of it. Uh, go go to Ireland. It's beautiful. Then we went to London. Yeah, and uh, this, I'm going to keep it as short as possible. The Big Apple. Uh, of, of Europe, the city that sometimes sleeps. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so the, the winded city, the rainy city. <laughs> yes. Uh, Merry old London. Uh, it was it was wonderful. Yep. Uh, very different with a ten year old. 
Yep, for sure. Yeah. You know, because um, you can't go to the sex shops and everything. Right. Oh, no, we did. Oh, we did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finn dragged us into those. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Those two girls are going to be there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They said. Uh, but uh, yeah, so no, we went to London. Um, I didn't find those two girls, but I found three people. Yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, uh, no, it was great. And, you know, him on the tube was really fun. Yeah. You know, him getting used to it was kind of wild. Mind the gap. He really liked the, the being able to see the stops and understand where he was going. Yep. Um, it was such a shift in this vacation. Oh, yeah. Ireland mm. has a population of just over 5 million. Okay. In the entire country. Yeah. London has a population of just under 11 million. Right, right. Oh, yeah. So those numbers yeah. are not similar. That's wild. Hang on, I'm doing the math. That's why mm-hmm. if everyone in London went to Ireland in one day, the population would triple. Yeah. And that's yeah. just one city. It's yeah. crazy. But anyway, so like a, a huge juxt- uh, juxtaposition yeah. there. Yeah. But it was really fun to like come out of the tube uh, and, and uh, you know, at the first station we were coming out at, and look at my son and go, welcome to London. Yeah. Right? And he was just like overwhelmed with it. It was yeah. it was fantastic. Yeah. Um, we lucked out with the weather. The weather was great. Kind of went and did the 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 hits that we wanted to do with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, we Big we, Ben. Oh, got to do Big Ben. Yep. Uh, did that Trafalgar Square? Yeah. Uh, no, you don't. You, they're not. They're not really around. Hmm. Uh, we did go to Buckingham Palace. Okay. Um, and uh, Harrods. You know, all the all the yeah. things we did. All the fun things. Yeah. Uh, we did do Abbey Road. Yes. Right. That's mm-hmm. that's a lot of fun. Saw that photo, yeah. Craig. Yeah, that was great. Craig, Craig showed up. Uh, uh, less people than I thought would be there okay. on the day. Yep. But good. There were definitely people doing the the picture. Yeah. I will say this: if you're going to go to Abbey Road and you want to get the picture where you're crossing the crosswalk there, get it and move on. Don't be a dick. Hmm. I was amazed. There were people that were good about it. Yep. That would like jot out, you know, trot out and get a quick pick and keep moving, right? And stop, not stop traffic. There were there was a group of four there. Of course, somebody took their shoes off so they could be Paul. Yep. They go out. They, ow! Ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> they they do the pose. They have somebody else come out into the street to take the picture. Traffic is all stopped. Yep. Then they run across. And while people are coming out after some cars go by to get their picture, yep. they're running back, ruining the pictures for everyone else. Yep. Wow. And then going back and doing it again. Yeah. You got your picture. Yep. Fuck off. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, it, yeah. it just sucked. Like I had to crop those dipshits yeah. out of the picture I did with Finn. Kalina stayed on the sidewalk yeah. to yeah. take the picture. She's like, I don't want to get out in the street. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It was just weird. It's like it's antithetical to the yeah. thing, I think. But yeah. it was really cool to yeah. go. We went. Yeah, of course. We saw the studio. We did all of that stuff. That was really cool. Yeah. I got is Finn a, a Beatles guy? Cause it, cause oh, you he ha- loves the you, Beatles. Yeah, because you had a Beatles memory in yeah. Ireland, and yeah. now all this Beatles stuff. And, yeah, yeah, he loves the Beatles. Uh, so that was really cool. And, uh, and I got to tell the most dad joke ever when we were in the gift shop of Abbey, Studio, uh, Abbey Road Studios. You took out your gun, and then you said, I right. got a, Hey, Finn, I got a riddle for you. <laughs> who the, who fuck the fuck is, is this? Who the fuck <laughs> it's Beatles. similar to that, actually, because we're at the register. We're talking to the woman. Like Kalina was like, how many people usually like come in every day? Yeah. They're talking. And they had some other stuff in the <clears> gift <throat> shop of other bands that have recorded, like right. you know David Bowie and senior, Pink Floyd. And senior stuff. discount. Um, did you guys record at Abbey Road? I think so. Was it memorable? Go ahead. <laughs> oh no, we were at Abbey Street. Yes, it was different. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, they're talking about that stuff, and then I leaned forward, and it's the most dad joke ever. And I leaned forward. You're and a went, dad. And I went, uh, now there's a lot of stuff with the Beatles that would hear. Would they do have done anything I I didn't, might know? Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they did that thing, yeah. and then one of the ladies laughed, and then the other la- lady just death stared me, wow. and I went, well. I told my little joke and I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> said it out loud, but it was great. Uh, it took a it took a black cab ride home after that. Uh, we treated ourselves to a couple of those. Yep. Uh, that's oh, like that's is that like a high end cab. No, it's just a black cab, like the classic. Oh, okay. Like London yeah. cab, but cool. they're they're different. It's like a different type of vehicle. The mm. way it's built mm. is like the shape of a black cab is different. Yep. Um, my my new like goal. My campaign is bring black cabs here. Ooh. Mm. I fucking love black cabs. So what is the difference? Well, A, it's London. 
It's, I like it. Okay. I like that part Good. of it. B, all the cab drivers are really fun. I liked them. Yeah. They, were, they were all nice. Yeah. They're not like scary New Yorker cab drivers, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all clean. All yeah. very nice. It's, mm-hmm. like a, it's like a decent thing. But here's, here's what's amazing. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Leg room for days. Really? It's massive. You I can, wonder why. You can fit six people or more in a black cab. Mm. Uh, you open the door and like walk in, basically. Oh, really? Crouch mm. down and then you can sit down. It's so big. Take, take a look on you know YouTube or, or yeah, Google will. an image. Those vehicles should be here. No more Th- Ubers. Thank you, President Kennedy. Yeah. No, no, dead Kennedy. Yep. No, no Ubers where you get in and it's the tiniest little fuck of a vehicle. Yep. No more back seat of a car. Do you, the back seat is the hardest thing to get into any vehicle. That's true. Yeah. And and I, the the this is the way to do it. Black right. cabs are the way to do it. Got it. I gotta so check them vote out. for Ray Harrington for something. Transportation czar, and yeah. I will bring black cabs to America. Czar. Uh, and a lot of them have gone electric over there now too, which yes. is which is awesome. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. I think that's really cool. Uh, we did all of that stuff. Get ready for your chub. You're gonna get your chub. I've had one the whole time. We went to Borough Market. Yeah. Kalina really wanted to go. Ever since he heard about that seafood chowder. Yeah, it's, it was. It's it just was been the, going. The it's two a girls chubber. that are a year older than chowder chubber. <laughs> He's got a chowder chub. So, <laughs> so, uh, uh, Borough Market. Kalina really wanted to go. It is. Uh, it's just stalls. Stalls, stalls, stalls okay. of food, right? Yeah, yeah. And it can be uh, ingredient-based food, like where you, you know, this is the cheese stall, this is a Ooh, cheese stall, this like is an olive oil stall, yep. this is, uh, you know, deli meats, this is uh, fruits and veg, this mm-hmm. is this, this is that, like hot, all that stuff. Hot dogs. Uh, bakery stuff, you know, the sweet baked goods, breads, all that stuff. And then there's places where it's like, we make this dish mm-hmm. and okay. we sell this, you know, Got this it. sandwich, this whatever. And we got Finn picked his first, and we went through this place. It's it's very very popular Borough Market. It's yeah. like a thing. Like okay. over there, if like if there's like a London based cooking show thing, yeah, they'll go to Borough Market to get like their ingredients, got right? It. Yeah, uh, I had the best fucking cheese uh, from there. It was amazing. This Red Leicester cheddar mm. that was fucking amazing. Right. Uh, Finn picked for lunch a place called the Pie Minister. Oh yes, you were yeah, t- okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like a little stall, but they also have like a restaurant, like a full physical restaurant right. elsewhere. We stumbled on that in uh, Covent Garden. Okay, but uh, it's little pies. It's like just hand little pies. pies, like a little hand pie kind yep. of thing. But we're talking savory pies, right? Yeah, yeah. steak and ale, Woo! chicken and broccoli. Woo! You know, or not chicken and broccoli, chicken and mushroom. You know, uh-huh. stuff like that. Uh, so Finn got a steak and ale. I got a chicken mushroom. And they were amazing. Oh, like, I bet. Jizzworthy. Oh. Jizz, jizzworthy. So explain the steak and ale. Explain the ale. Explain the ale. Yeah. I, I was hoping to like get them as a sponsor, but that the delivery jizzworthy? of Jizzworthy. Jizzworthy. Uh, jizzworthy. I, I mean, Put you know, that on the banner. Yeah. yeah. I guess they are they are more relaxed about uh, you know language. That's Jeez, true. So. Don't be a cunt. Get pie minister. It's jizz worthy. It's jizz worthy, you cunt. You cunt. I was gonna yeah. say cunt again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that'd be good. Yeah. I don't know. That it's I pie, be on this you episode. cunt. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Can we fit in cunt one more time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, <laughs> We're the ad agency. Well, pull out a little bit on the camera. You get the one on my shirt. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, it was it was so good. Steak and ale is like you know it's pieces of steak. Yes. Uh, and it's cooked with uh, you know beer, and it's got carrots in it. Mm. It's so, roasted carrots. It's so fucking good. So this st- I love a root vegetable. It was like I was talking to Kalina about it. I'm like I think this is the cheapest like lunch op- option in Borough Market. And it's the best one. Yeah. Six pounds gets you this pie. Wow. Five cold, six hot. That's what it is, right? And it's so good. I got pictures. Craig, throw them up. I can't describe how good. It's like uh, take the best kind of like savory pastry crust. Okay. I got it. Perfect crust. Yeah. Perfect. A, a totina pizza roll. And inside, fresh, locally sourced like impeccably uh, prepared and cooked 
uh, filling. Would you call, like would, steak and ale or you know chicken mushroom like whatever? Would you call the outside kind of like the same type of pastry as like a chicken pot pie? Very similar. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's amazing. A little flakier, mm. uh, but it was so mm. fucking good. It was so good that uh, a, another day because we went there for, for just for Borough Market, um, and then another day we were walking from you know uh like tower bridge all the way over to millennium bridge whatever it doesn't matter but we're strolling and finn's getting hungry it's close to lunchtime yep. and he's like i'm hungry he's, you know he's, he's feeling it and it's like all right we got to keep walking we're walking towards lunch yeah. we don't know what it is yet but we are walking towards lunch mm -hmm. okay that's where we are in the timeline everything's going to be fine yeah and uh and he's like okay fine and we round a corner and i'm like we're at borough market like I, I didn't yeah. even realize it, but we're here right now. And Finn's like, Pie Minister. And I'm like, Pie Minister, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. I got so pumped. So we had it again. Yeah. It was so good. It was oh, really, really awesome. great. I love hearing that. Yeah, Borough Market. Uh really wonderful. Uh, you know, had some wonderful food while we were there. Uh went to our favorite grocery store, Waitrose. That's that's delicious. Right. Love it. Uh we tried all sorts of snacks. That right. are different. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was a treat. Finn really liked it. I learned yeah. something about myself. Oh, boy. Um, Good. Personal growth. I probably already know it. Go ahead. There. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you won't guess what I'm about to say. <laughs> I, I bet I won't. <laughs> There's a chip flavor Alt or crisp flavor. All dressed. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, that is popular in the UK that is not in the United States of America. All right. Hang on. Mm -hmm. So it's any flavor not popular in America. I mean that could be so many. Yeah, healthy. Yeah, yeah. that's a flavor. Is it like a like a like a coconut curry? No. Sure, mm. this is no. You wouldn't guess this. By the way, I'm still not sure what a curry is, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Uh, I don't think you'd be a fan. I don't think um, I would. Spices. Yeah. Uh, uh, so this is a prawn cocktail. Whoa. Flavor shrimp cocktail. Yeah. Uh, right. Now it doesn't taste like shrimp in any way. Yep. It's just ba it's. Cocktail sauce. Yeah. Is so the flavor. Horseradish is part of it. Tomato is part of it. All this stuff like that. It's like a zingy ketchup. I know. And I love it. Oh, yeah. That's great. And it's. It uh, sounds great. I had Pringles that were prawn cocktail Pringles. Oh. Crazy. Mm -hmm. All these different things. And then I got this for one of my little sandwich lunches mm -hmm. that I had. And I brought a bag all the way here. Wow. Mm -hmm. To the new country, America. Oh, wow. <laughs> And they are Whoa! prawn cocktail quavers. What's a quaver? Ah, uh, <laughs> this. It looks a little like a Frito, but it's not. Okay. Let me get that ASMR going. I want you to. I want you to just. Ooh, do a sniff. You're gonna he hate it. it. You're gonna hate. Do you like cocktail sauce? I, I, I've, He's never tried. It. I've you never. Me? I might have tried it in college. I don't like red. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I you like think it's a cocktail? You're gonna hate fancy. this. You're gonna hate it. Yep, that's a strong scent. Oh, I like that. Yeah, try one. Give me a quaver, please. Thank you. One nope. quaver. I was going to quaver toast with you. He could eat that. It's like somewhere between salt and vinegar and ketchup. Pretty good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. At, at the <laughs> Your eyes are watering. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> What's bothering I can't control my eyes. <laughs> That's what he said to the judge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your Honor. As they were coming out like the wolf in the mask. I just, oh, wooga. Yeah. Your Honor, I can't control my eyes. Yeah. But yeah. Quavers. Quavers. Mm. I like them. I mean, I like I'm, I'm also not seeking out all dressed chips. Just That's not, fair. Not yeah. a flavor profile. That, the only uh, thing you like out. all dressed is your pornography. <laughs> Yes, you get it. Just tell me you jizzed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. Write me a letter later. Yes. Um, but uh, no, it was uh, it was it was really really fun to be back in my favorite city. Yep. Yeah. Um, after a while, and yeah. you know pre Finn. Yeah. Right. Uh, so it's been ten years yep. since we we've been, and it was really really lovely. Just a lot of happy moments. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of good stuff. Uh, yeah. How did how did Kalina like everything? Yeah. She loved it. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. it was a really wonderful yeah. time. You got to yeah. see the Taskmaster house. Oh my god, I almost skipped it. Yeah. Did did Kalina have a hand pie? I want to know that. Oh yeah, of course she had a hand pie. All right, good. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. They only had two flavors. 
No, they had like five. What were the others? Uh, I can't remember. I think there was like a chicken and like, uh, like some kind of cheese. Ooh, Ooh there we go. That's there was a an all point. wild mushroom. Nope. Uh, I, I like my mushrooms tame. I think the I think um, the uh, the winner though was the classic straight up steak and ale. Yeah, I'm going pie minister right now. Looking. Yeah. If you want to sponsor us, pie minister, we'll accept payment in pies. Please, was, yeah, we genuinely will accept payment in pies. How, how do you feel? Like we're fucking cartoons from like <laughs> the beginning of time. Just leave them on your windowsill, and we'll take care of them. We'll walk up to the package you send, like. <laughs> I was hoping well, we could. Oh boy, pie! I, I was hoping that we could float on scent yeah, lines. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll walk past, but then our nose will stay. Like our feet will keep going, yes. and then just and then we'll float back to and it. And then a racially inappropriate oh. mammy will yell at us. Yes. All right, I'm gonna read these to Brad. Brad, you tell me what mm. pies you'd have. All right, these are pri- these are the pie minister pie okay. options. Water. There's the, <laughs> the steam. <laughs> there's the moo. Which is a British beef steak and craft ale pie. Yeah, that's yes. what. That's yeah. What, yeah. There's a, there's, I'm in. I, I'm in because Finn is in. Yeah. Okay. There's the mooless moo, which is steak, but it's made out of jackfruit. It's a vegan. So it's a vegan yeah. one. Yeah. A Heidi. Less excited. A goat cheese, sweet potato, and spinach pie. Uh, you know what? Ooh, I, I didn't even see that, and I would try that. I would. Absolutely. I would let Chuck order it, and I'd have a bite. Yeah. There's the Free Ranger, a free range British chicken and ham pie with leek and thyme. Ooh, yeah. that sounds delicious. I'm in. I'm in. Moo and blue, a British a British beef beef steak a with and yeah. Stilton pie. What's Stilton? It's cheese. A tight cheese. It's like yeah. a blue cheese. Ooh, okay. Uh Kate and Sydney, a British beef steak, kidney and craft ale pie. Yeah. Kidney steak and, and kidney pie. Yeah. yeah. A uh, fungi chicken, free range British That's chicken what I had. with portobello and chestnut mushrooms. Not a mushroom. It was guy. delicious. I can't Wild do it. shroom. Portobello and chestnut mushroom with asparagus and white wine. I'm out. Hell yeah. Uh, This isn't a chicken and bacon pie. I think it is a chicken and bacon pie with leek and white wine. Mm. Okay. I would eat all of these. Yep. A Kevin, which is a chestnut mushroom, tomato, and quinoa pie with baby onions and thyme. That's my least interested one. Mm. And the last one, uh, the Moulin Rouge. A British beefsteak, dry cured bacon, and red wine pie, which is a specific restaurant exclusive to one of them. Wow. Wow. Yeah. They're amazing. The pie minister was truly wonderful. Wow. Uh, And that red Leicester cheddar, uh, I just happened to see this nice old lady. Do they ship? Uh, I stand them. Yeah. I will ship that pie with me. (laughs) Does the pie minister ship internationally? Oh, I don't know. I I have to look. All right. Yeah. Uh, if not, they aren't our sponsor. Yeah. Mm. So uh, no, there's there was there was this like sweet old lady at a like cheese stall, and she had this huge block of red Leicester cheddar, which is a type of cheddar. It's dark red. Yeah. It's it's you know it's it's good. Uh, and she's like, oh, do you want a piece? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And I I popped that in my mouth, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, right? Yeah. So she, uh, I said, can you just cut off a little bit of that? I'll I'll, I'll have that. You know, ten pounds, whatever. Not. The weight, the yeah. <laughs> Give me ten pounds of cheese. Uh, give me forty thousand <laughs> ounces of cheese, please. Yes, I plan on dying today. Uh, the cheese poisoning. Why do you think I'm doing this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, that's what they mean by put you out to pasture. Yeah. Uh, so, what should they read on the radio when you die? <laughs> oh, died the way he Start lived. Start with this music, full of cheese <laughs> yeah. and myrrh. Yeah. Uh, Mirth. And, and now, Mirth, yeah. yes. Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> do, 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 uh, yeah, oh, so. Blackberry. <laughs> no, Blackberry. <laughs> Blackberry had a cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Black Betty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Black Betty, you cunt. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, so I had this cheese and I got some, and it was so fucking good, yeah. right? It was so good. And then, uh, like, a couple days later, we're at Harrods, mm. and their food hall in the basement is like a- amazing. Yeah. It's like the best of the best is there, right? Man, do I love a food hall? Yeah. Uh, and I'm looking, and lo and behold, it's the same exact cheese oh, like, okay. from the same vendor. And it's like, yeah. this is Britain's finest Red Leicester. Yeah. And I remember because she said it's the only one in Britain that is still made with unpasteurized milk oh Oh, cool and it said it in the the little reading of the thing 
And I felt great because I'm like, I got it from the lady that's like just works the stall. Yep. And she h- cut me off a hunk because she saw me and she said, how about a hunk for a hunk? And yeah. then we made out a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and we both, if we're honest, our breath stunk of yeah, cheese. I was yeah. say the cheese. Uh, it was creamy, too. Yeah. It was that kind of clicky kind of yeah. kissing. It was yeah. weird. Can you uh, swallow for a second? Yeah. And, we'll go and back then to she it? said, that'll cost you extra. <laughs> And you said, and then she did like a little shimmy. And you said it's worth it. Yeah, and, and then she popped her teeth yeah. out. And it was a whole thing. Uh, her teeth were made of cheese. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you hold my dentures. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, but uh, it, it was it was like phenomenal, right? Yeah. But that's yeah. what I mean about. I think people always there's been a, a a shitty stereotype about like England and its food yeah. and it's boring. Yeah. Yeah, maybe in the 70s it was probably boring right. as hell. Yeah. And I think maybe traditionally British food can veer towards a Brad territory, yeah. right? Delicious. Where they're like, let's go crazy and put some beans on this toast. Yeah. Right? Uh, but Did you have a full English when you were over? I did have a full English. Nice. Um, but it was it, it, it's just like amazing food. You know That's what I mean? Great, like yeah, it's, but... it's, it's influence from so many cultures now, especially in London. Right. Combined with the real embrace of like fresh and local, you yeah. know, and that's huge. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the breakfast at Dromelin Castle. Okay. Holy fucking shit. Yeah. The castle breakfast. Yeah. It was a little buffet. Okay. Yeah. You go up there. Yeah. Five star dining. Yep. The scones. Now those were jizz worthy. I love wow. it. I love a good scone. These were not hard. Soft, soft scone. Scones. I love the soft scone. Soft scone. I live for the soft scone. Ha, ha, separate by themselves. Ha. Do you have some I clotted cream yeah, with those I soft scones? I clotted my cream, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's tooth. Like, how and many jizz jokes like, are we doing? Like episode? charcuterie meats out, like dried meats. Oh that, and like each little tag said the farm it was from and how many kilometers away. Wow. And they were all single fucking digits. Yeah. And it was delicious. We woke up every morning at Dromel and like, I cannot wait to go to breakfast. Yeah. yeah. And normally, like in a hotel, I skip breakfast. Yeah, if that's yeah, available, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, why am I getting up an hour earlier Yeah, so I can have like these frozen... Yeah, of course. Scrambled egg th- things mm. and stuff. Yeah. There we go. You're like, oh, now that's, that's a full, that's jizz worthy. That's a full Brad. Okay, yeah. second, <laughs> safety first. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, honestly, it's... Am I scared of it? No, then I'll have it. Yeah, it's familiarity first. Yeah, right. It's you with like a little Dixie cup full of waffle batter, and you're like, I'm all set. <laughs> and you just <laughs> drink it. <laughs> so it was, it was phenomenal. It really was phenomenal food. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I went to the Taskmaster house. Yes. We decided to do it. It was a little further out. Yep. Uh, it was raining, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. We uh, took the tube, and then we took a bus, and we got off, and we're, and I'm like, I think this is it. Yeah. And it's nothing, nothing, and then, oh, shit. Yeah. The Taskmaster house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can see it from the side, and then it's got the big, like, tall uh, green gate. Yeah. That uh, blocks it off. I did the thing, put my my yep. phone over it, and good, snap. Good pictures. thing you're tall. Yeah, it was not locked. Mm. There was one latch at the top. All the locks were undone. Mm-hmm. There's a car in the driveway, mm-hmm. and I was just like, I really want to lift that latch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really want to lift yeah. that latch. Just a look, just a look. And Kalina yeah. wouldn't let me do it. Yeah, yeah. Kalina yeah. wouldn't let me do it. She was giddy going there she yeah. was yeah. genuinely getting it is very special you wouldn't get it chuck you wouldn't get it no you're not a part of the taskmaster family you yeah. wouldn't get you've it. been invited to be a part of the family many times hundreds by many people yep. well you're so inclusive we are once you're in <laughs> yeah, once you're it's in, literally you're in. a joyous experience and we try and share it with as many people as possible but when they deny us three times yep like someone else i used to hear stories about <laughs> who just that? wanted to share good feelings yep who's that and was denied three times could be anyone somebody will tell you later is it jesus i yeah. bet the devil will let you know <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it was really magical to go to the house it really it, it was like i geeked out i'm like oh my god like it's the house that you yeah. see all the time that was oh, how yeah. I, when when we were in toronto that's how i felt with the nirvana the the band yeah. the show house yeah but to have like the, see the backyard yep and like have the moment of realization like under that tarp is the Greg Davies statue. Yep. Like that's what's there. 
and like, ooh, they've got a spiral thing out for something. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what's this over here? You know, stuff like yeah. that. There's the caravan. You know, stuff yeah. like that. It was really wonderful. Kalina, giddy. Yeah. That's great. She got down on the wet pavement while it's raining on her hands and knees because she realized there was a gap between the ground and the gate yep and got a picture through that and she's like i can see the house like she's freaking out yep. yeah she found a bolt on the ground like a little one yeah she took the bolt and then she said she said i don't care uh you know where this really comes from but in my head uh this bolt has been used in many tasks by many people, and I will have this bolt forever, and it's my lucky bolt. Yeah. And I'm like, that's why I love it. I, I, yeah. You know, next, next, you know, series 18, they're like, all right, uh, your task is to get this bolt as far away from the house as possible. And somebody's like, I'm just going to leave it outside. Somebody will pick it up. Clean will pick it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was great. Finn's like trying to get through some bushes to see some stuff, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it was so, I guess it's, it is quintessentially British, where it's like this huge thing for a lot of people. And for everybody there, they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's where they do that show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And while we were there, somebody driving by rolled down the window and in a high pitched voice went, is little Alex Hort? You know, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, You again, you wouldn't you you wouldn't get it. I get that. You wouldn't get it. I've seen that. You don't even know. They say that once in a while. They do. I mean, I I mean, technically once in a while. Every episode once in a while. Yeah. That's starting in like series three. Yeah. Series two. Uh, You want another quaver? I'm all right. I'm good for now. I'm all right. I know. I like them. I like a quaver. I like them. They're I'm good. all right on the quaver. So, I think I'd like them more on a chip, though, than on the puff. Yeah. No, I get it. Um, but anyway, so it was uh, it was delightful to do that. It is that kind of thing of like, I love this show so much, and yeah. to be able to do this thing is cool. Hell yeah. Finn was loving it. Um, and then uh, uh, the last thing I want to talk about, really, for, for this was we did go see uh, the play that goes wrong. Yes. Yeah, that's so awesome. In the West End. And it was amazing. It was delightful. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know it, Mischief Theater is the the group that puts on this play. Uh, they initially started, I believe, as an improv troupe, and uh, and and they created this show that is uh, it's kind of meta. You know, it's the play that goes wrong. Right. They the cast plays a cast of characters that are the Cornley Polytechnic Drama Society. Okay. Sort of like a community college theater. Yep. Gr- mm-hmm. Group. And they're putting on a murder mystery called uh, A Murder at Haversham Manor. That's the crux of this thing. Right. And then everything that can go wrong will go wrong yep. during the show with the idea that the I show love must it. go on. Yeah. I love it. Scenery is falling, yeah. It's one of those things, as soon as you see it, you go, how has this not happened before? Right. And it's infinitely repeatable. And they are hugely successful. Yeah. This thing, we went uh, for the Saturday matinee. And Kalina was like, this place is packed. Yeah. It's like sold out. And it's Saturday at 2.30. So can I ask you, so you went to go see this in New York as well. Yes. So what was the deal with that? They were touring or what? Yes, they brought it to Broadway. And originally, I think for the for like maybe a month, it was the original cast. Mm. Uh, and then they went on to do other stuff. And a new cast took over. I th- I'm not sure if it's still playing. It what's, might be. What's uh, what's really fun, is, you know. So you had posted a photo. You you had gone to see it. Yeah. Tuesday night at uh, at Improv, one of my other actors was wearing a t shirt from Peter Pan <clears throat> Gone Wrong. Yeah, that's oh, great. Which is another another. Because uh, I'd love to go. Performance. I'd yeah. love I'd love to. Go. Yeah, I would go again. Yeah. So for my, a third time, my girlfriend. <clears throat> uh, when we met, which There's is a little a, doubt in your voice when you said that word. Yeah. <clears throat> what's no. going on, buddy? Oh, oh, wait, do you want? Do you need to talk about it? When we met, she Get had this guy a pie. She grew up in Chicago, <laughs> regardless, and she lives in Colorado. When we met in, in January, in Colorado, in yeah, Colorado. She brings Chicago to Colorado, so uh, she calls it that. Um, I heard that the pizza is so deep, you can actually get like sick. Yes. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, sorry. In in Brian fashion, I have to, you know, the the owner of the comedy club. I have to go. Oh, Colorado. Well, excuse me, pal. <laughs> That is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, she's never been as when I met her, she had never been to the East Coast at all, mm-hmm. whatsoever. So she came to New York for I think three or four days, and now she's been to Rhode Island a couple times. Um, but before we started dating, she already had a plan to come to New York City for like a week and a half because she had she's never come here. And when she talked, she's like, I kind of want to go to a Broadway show. I want to do things. I thought about when you went to the play that goes wrong, and I was like, yeah. man, maybe we can go find 
if they're doing that or a version of that or one of their offshoot things, I would love to see it because I love the concept. Oh, it's so, much. so yeah. good! It's yeah. so good, and and like I, we we talk a lot about like grassroots and and things growing organically and and you know when it's real and true, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's why I love uh, Mischief Theater and like supporting them, and why I had one of the co-founders of them, Henry Lewis, on Ray Harrington Must Content, yes. mm -hmm. and had Bryony Corgan, who's a performer in there, who's an amazing uh, comedic actress. I love her. Right. Uh, she can do, like, overwhelmed in a way that I've never seen a an actor or actress pull off the mm. way she does. In, a like, a desperate, like, uh, uh, kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway... Uh, you know, go go listen to those, or maybe we can throw like the Henry Lewis interview up or something sure. like yeah, that. Yeah. But uh, it was, uh, it was it was so amazing. I love what they do with it, and like I said, it's infin infinitely yeah. repeatable. But it's so clever. We've talked about the challenge of like how do you make that funny for two acts exactly, uh, and not, and not get stale, and realizing there's different types of jokes to do. That's there. Right. my favorite thing in the whole world is is the idea of Going to having a thing, whether it's a movie, TV show, live thing, having different types of comedy. Yeah. So you can consistently surprise the audience with the direction you go. Yes. I love here's that. A, here's a prop joke. Here's a physical joke. Yeah. Right. Here's a, a wordplay joke. Right. Here's yeah. this type of I mean, of here's flub. a callback. Yeah. Yeah. And then callbacks and then like setups that go on and on. And like really, truly laughing for the entirety of the play. For sure. There was a guy and his, I think, father sitting in front of us. Right. Like older man and a guy a little younger, maybe like a late twenties was the son. He was laughing so much and had like a honky laugh. Like a <laughs> you know, like yeah. I can't I can't do it, but to a level where it was it was very funny to us too yeah. to hear to, him to hear the laugh, yeah. And to hear him not be able to stop and yeah. like continue yeah. giggling. But this is what I wanted to say. The play is meta, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they are playing actors. And you one of the elements of the play is uh, the actress, the big starlet that's like over the top, like I'm the star yeah. woman, at some point is, yes, uh, is, is, is injured and they need an understudy. So it's been pre-established that there was a stagehand person that woman now takes over the role. Right. Holding the binder, reading the stuff, and she ends up want, like liking it and yeah. enjoying it, right? So it's a whole thing. Uh, there's also one of the uh, uh, stage handy people, the sound guy named Trevor, mm -hmm. is a big part of the show, yeah. right? And it's kind of cool. You have the theater. I have a picture, Craig, throw it up. You'll see the stage with the set that they have built into the theater like this is part of the stage is a sound booth yeah. oh i love that's it that's lit and trevor stays up there for the show i love it and misses some cues yeah. and has to come down at some point he even he has to play a part yeah and all that stuff right so it's really great one of the running goofs uh lee leshen has seen the show multiple times yep. he went with us when we saw it the first time in new york and he was like, you got to get there early. You got to get there early. You got to get there early. They do stuff before the show. Ooh. Uh, and so one of the things, like one of the running jokes in it is there's supposed to be a dog in, in, a, in a second act moment. Yep. And at the very beginning, they have an announcement. Like one of the stagehand people is like, has anyone seen a dog? Yeah. <laughs> Answers to the name of whatever. Yeah. Uh, they have them like out looking around in the like in the rows like somebody like they have a stagehand actor like on the floor going like this down yeah. one of the aisles and yeah, stuff like yeah, that yeah and they come over have you seen a dog have you seen a dog and they're asking these questions and uh uh the woman who ends up taking over the the actress role right she comes over and she's asking have you seen a dog blah 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 and she she says because they're they're in the audience yeah. right and she says, uh, at this point, does anyone local have a dog, right? That's fun. And she looks at myself, Finn, and Kalina, and she's like, do you live local? And we're like, no, we don't. I'm sorry. We have a dog, but he's 3,000 yeah. miles away. Yeah. And we're playing along. Yeah. And I went, uh, my son could play a dog. Yep. I want to get Finn involved. Happiest mm. thing I ever could have done. Yep. She's like, 
that's not bad. That's not a bad idea. You know, the improv yeah. is kicking in. Yeah. And she's like, okay, what, what's your name? And he's like, Finn. And she's like, Finn? Okay, Finn, I might come back to you, right? Yep. She goes off, does some more stuff. A little while later, Trevor comes over. Yep. Trevor's like, where's Finn? Where's Finn? Yeah. Finn is fucking beaming. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's like, you're Finn? Okay, uh, you said you would be willing to be a dog? And he's like, yeah, okay, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and he's like, all right, um, how tall are you? Stand up? Okay, yeah. Would you be comfortable with a collar? And he's like, yeah, you know, stuff <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, okay, all right, good, 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 good. Uh, wait right here, wait, wait right here. And at that point, the character who plays the director, Chris Bean, okay. who's also the inspector of the murder mystery. Beautiful. Who's the, he's the straight, he's the one that gets mad at the audience. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I like this guy. Yeah. He's, he's one of my favorites. Yeah. Really, really fantastic. He comes over, he's like, where's Finn? Finn, Finn. And this is all for the, you know, everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, Finn, do you have experience acting? And he's like, not really. And I went, yeah, you do. You have some. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm like, he doesn't know. I'm like, dude, yes and this. This yeah, is fun. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I could, I could act. And he's like, okay, do you have experience acting like a dog? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he goes, okay, are you, would you be comfortable with lines? Like, woof. <laughs> yeah, right? like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's all killer. Yeah, yeah. Finn yeah. is just, he is in it. And yeah. I'm watching... I'm watching a comedy moment yeah. get laser etched into his brain. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. And as a comedian, I'm like, oh, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, of course. It's so fucking beautiful. Uh, and so he starts to think, like, what if they ask me to go up? And yeah. I've seen the play, you know, the joke towards the end when the reveal is like a character comes out with just a leash yeah. and they're doing a bunch of stuff with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, that's what's going to happen. They're not yeah. going to bring you up. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think they're going to bring you up. I think it's part of the stuff. But, yeah. you yeah. know, just the fact that they came and made you a part. I was like, Finn, you're a part of the beginning of the show for everyone around us. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was laughing throughout the whole thing. It's one of those magical things like we talk about with Taskmaster. You wouldn't get this. Uh, uh, you could, If you want, you can like close your ears or something for this part. Uh, <laughs> oh, he thinks that's ears. <laughs> that was an eye. <laughs> that's not ears. What? <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ah, so loud. I got to take these glasses off. My hearing aids. <laughs> <laughs> but uh uh like Taskmaster is that magical thing where it's joyous, yep, positive, hilarious, unique, but also like, oh, why didn't anybody yeah, think of, of course, that? Yeah. And can be enjoyed by like a family, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. And I do think that parallel is like exact with play that goes wrong, play that goes wrong yeah. and like that mischief theater thing. The fact that this ten year old could laugh hysterically through the whole thing and get 95% of what's happening. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then this 20-year-old kid is giggling, laughing. Yeah. And then this 41-year-old is laughing throughout the whole thing too. Yep. Like that's incredible. You yeah, know what I mean? I it really is magical. Yeah, so that's awesome. Yeah, Mischief Theater, play that goes wrong. Um, it's on tour all the time. Yep. Uh, if you live near a place that does it, go see it. We've seen two different casts now. It's really fun. And I'm not even a theater person. I don't go to sh theater shows. Right, you know? right, right. Uh, happily would go see this again. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Really, really fun. But the fact that they made Finn a part of that. Oh, yep. that's too cool. Fucking magical. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I yeah. want to thank all of them. I sent an email to the person I had been talking with. Right. Yeah. And I was like, I just want you to know, like, you guys had a huge impression on this 10-year-old. Yeah. Uh, and please pass along my thanks to the cast yep. and everybody. Uh, so, yeah, really cool. Really, That's really awesome. fucking That's cool. That's great. That's great. Um, yeah, and there was a lot of fun stuff in London. It right. Was, it was a good time. Uh, I can't... Uh, so many things happened. Right. And I am now officially... It has happened every day since I've gotten back. It's almost 4 p.m. as we record this. Mm -hmm. And my brain is going away. Because it's about 10 p.m. over there? Uh, nine. 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 Okay. Yeah. But with a kid. I'll help you with I'm that whenever you need it. Thank you. Yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was yeah, yesterday. I don't, I don't like how this feels. The, uh, no, the, the, uh, I don't have to listen to this. I'll say the weird. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck and I were talking about uh, Wrestling Jeopardy on YouTube. 
And there was a Weppardy. question. Yes, there was a question that I didn't know. And oh, I no, let me, let me, can I set this up? Please do. So basically, someone makes their own entire Jeopardy board, and they just go through questions. They wait three two se- seconds, three, three seconds, seconds for you to answer. Okay. And they did it with wrestling. So I wanted to know. Maybe Brad has a better answer than I do. Nope. Do they do this for other things besides wrestling? Is it the, like a the, thing they do? The only one that's shown up on my algorithm is wrestling. So I, 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 I don't know. I wish they would do it. But for, that's because you, of your search yeah, history. Yeah. Oily men. It's funny because I think the person that men <laughs> hitting and bumping, <laughs> hitting and bumping, <laughs> meat, <laughs> meat hitting meat. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I think it's a, a wrestling channel that does this. Yeah. But there should be someone. Some nerd doing a Jeopardy Why'd you channel. Look at me? Why'd you pause and look at me? Of just all different types of trivia like that. Wouldn't mm, that be fun? Sure, yeah. Presidential fun fact. It, it was like you could you could seriously turn it on with your friend of, of like let's say you have a friend that like you know I, I know like Ray <laughs> Let, like let's say you have a friend Ray. Right? Well, okay. Try and get in that headspace. All right. What do they look like? Like like like, like Ray Derek likes, like uh, Derek Furtado, but Derek Furtado six years ago. All right. Yeah. So Ray likes Sugar Ray. Imagine if there was a Sugar Ray uh, Jeopardy. I wouldn't do good at it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do well at it at I all. I this I type of machine was yeah. Oh, uh, mean. Yes. Uh, see, Ooh, that, it's long and green. <laughs> olive green. What, I'll what take, is mean? Ooh, lyrics, oh, yeah. lyrics from Fly for eight hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so they do this with Jeopardy, and they basically this guy must make his own questions. He must judge their difficulty level, and he just goes through them by himself. No players. All no. around the world, statues do this to me. <laughs> yeah. trouble. No, the only reason I wanted to clarify a little bit yeah. from what you said was just to let you know there are no players. Yeah. There's no one buzzing in. Yeah. It's just one man who is essentially the host saying, I'm just going to read you the questions, give you a couple seconds, and then answer, which is a cool. Right. And so I was, I was watching this, as, you know, Chuck called me, and I'm like, I'm just watching Wrestling Jeopardy. And I repeated the question that I had just gotten incorrect. <laughs> yeah. And Chuck got it right. Holy smokes. <laughs> you would think <laughs> he did not like it. No, no, no. I, did, I it's weird because it this brought great. it brought back <laughs> it brought back unresolved trauma from like high school where <laughs> oh, I was flooding. I was the smart kid and so if somebody got a better grade than me on a test Yeah, it ruined your identity. Who they, are you if, if the, not well, the no, smart no, kid? No, it, it it was them like having a little parade for themselves like I got a better grade than Brad and I'm like please like s- stop. Can we cut to the Wait reality of the situation? He sees a parade happening. <laughs> Meanwhile, they go, oh, I got an A. And it was, that's it. It was a parade. <laughs> Are you saying that the person would... More than two people constitutes a parade. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Legally, in, in Lake County, Indiana. Are you saying that the person would taunt you or they, they would feel that way? They would uh, They would express, oh, I got a better grade than Brad? So they would taunt you. Uh, it's, it's weird because it was it was more celebrating uh, their own achievement mm-hmm. oh, I than see. mocking me. So they weren't saying it to be mean to you. They were like, wow, Brad's yeah. so smart and I got a better grade than Brad this time. Yeah, and I just... Yeah. I, I just uh, it frustrates me. You and were so, the stars they reached for. Yeah, and then I, as I, soon as they got up there, you went stupid astronaut, right? <laughs> yes. Think you're better than me, <laughs> breathing and having knees. Yes. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yes. So uh, so yeah. So Chuck uh, got one question right, and uh, and it sucks because you know like it's he's not like the only question I would have gotten right. He's like ah, I won't tell anyone, and then he, <laughs> I would have gotten more right. That's what he just said. Yeah. No, I, I'm saying. Well, he, I didn't know his questions. Yeah, he yeah. only asked me this one. He's like, this is the one I got wrong. I asked yeah. him several. And I did my own uh, Wrestling Jeopardy previously. That's how yeah. I found out about it. And I got a lot of them right. Um, so You said you got all the 200s right, and then after that, it was tough. It was a little spotty. Yeah. But um, so go ahead. Continue. It's, it's all right. So he, he, he got that one. and uh, Why don't you do it to the audience and see if they know? I, I don't remember the question. It was Kane. Uh, who did... Uh, on Kane, uh, yes. <laughs> when, uh, <laughs> like, who did Kane turn? Uh, like, when the night that Kane unmasked, who did he choke slam? <laughs> or he ch- he choke slammed this wrestler? <laughs> yes. What is another wrestler? Correct. Tell me I'm wrong. T- technically yeah. correct. Thank well, you very much. I will say that the idea. I would like to double Jeopardy. <laughs> so this 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 happened probably in 2006. Yeah. Seven. It's a. <laughs> Why are we talking about it now? Well, well, it was no, 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 ruthless no. aggression no, no, era. This, this, wrestling this moment that he's oh, referring to. I thought to. you Not, meant this no. anecdote. No, no, no. no. I didn't. <laughs> like, what is happening? No, but it's a pretty specific question. He's like, yeah. when Kane unmasked, what wrestler did he choke slam? And I'm like, you know, I'm eating something. Yeah. I'm like, RVD. And he's like, 
<laughs> Ruth Vader Ginsburg? <laughs> yeah. And ba- Brad basically had like a, like well, a what, coronary. What, what kills me even more is that, you know, so we, we hang up. Chuck's taunting me. I, <laughs> He, he FaceTimed me with a middle finger and I'm like, I don't even have an iPhone. And then like a much harder question comes up of like in the Iron Man match between Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle, what was the final score? And I'm like, oh, it's five to four. Like it's such a weird, like specific How question. How do they do scores? Uh, it's, it's pinfalls in 60 minutes. Uh, Iron Man match is a, is a you, yeah, you do basically rack up pinfalls. And uh, I, so it's a very specific type of match that almost never happens. So I remember this, this one trivial fact but it wasn't the one i asked chuck and so chuck's like (laughs) (laughs) i didn't even he's doing his little dance i think you're both very good at wrestling jeopardy thank you (laughs) i think and you know what i don't want to know who's better because i think the best is you as a team it probably is because then you fill just like in other situations each other's gas specifically one situation i have i've always had this view on trivia and i'm not criticizing the trivia heads i like the trivia ben they have the fun they they do and women yep but yeah, tri- they do it too. But a lot of trivia, there's are easier. <laughs> this is how I feel, and so it's just my personal opinion. I don't know how Ray feels. Okay, trivia is so random that it's like if Ray is like, oh yeah, um, I think I remember that uh, Cindy Lauper's song "Girls Just Want to Have Fun" came out in 1984, yeah, I don't know. and then they're like, when did Cindy Lauper? When did Time After Time come out? And you don't know it. Yeah, the difference between those two questions is nothing sure, at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they ask you and you get one right, or you ask and get one wrong, yeah. Your value doesn't change. You're not a better person sure. than the person next to you that knows I it. I think trivia is more in the idea of, say, a crossword, right? Like it's awesome. It's like a little <laughs> challenge, and you, it's for you, cool you know, ones. do you do you rise to that or not? And it doesn't really have anything to do with being. It's not a measurement of any uh, capability. I it's, don't think. It's, well, it's you know? it's it's a skill of like knowledge and recall. Right. So, do you have a lot, and can you get to it? Yeah, and that's it. But and, and I'll say this: I I used to be, um, you know, hoity and or toity uh, about trivia in general. And Chuck actually pointed out like people know things that are different than the things that you know, and because what you know is asked about, mm-hmm. it seems more important. It's not more important. And I admit, like, yes, yeah. I, I yeah, know yeah, a lot yeah. of presidential fun facts. That's right. our joke. I get it. But like, I don't know anything about. ISOs or F stops or right. camera stuff, but trivia is by definition trivia. Trivia, that's right. what I, yeah. yeah. And so I, I guess my point with the, the Cindy Lauper thing is like, even when you get down to the nitty gritty, there are random things that you could ask someone that are so adjacent to mm. something else where they would have the answer or wouldn't. And yeah. the wrestling trivia is exactly yeah. like that. Oh it's, sure, like you know wrestling yeah. trivia, I would fail miserably. Yeah, at. yeah exactly. Uh, it is funny. Like I don't seek out trivia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not somebody like, oh, I want to go do trivia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but recently I was on one of the cruises and I was yeah. out in like a main area reading a comic on my iPad and they were doing trivia uh, in one of the rooms and you could hear that. And I was sitting in, in like communal space. Yeah. So there were three people that all knew each other, this, yeah. this older group, mm-hmm. and they were doing the trivia. Like they were sitting and reading too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But they started talking about answers, and I chimed in on an answer. Yep. And I do think, I swear to you, I think it was presidential trivia. Nice. Because uh, all the questions were uh, surrounding that. So proud. Um, and uh, and I, I was like, well, oh, no, it's this, because I knew the answer. Yep. And they were like, really? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I explained why. And they were like, okay. Like, they didn't believe me. Yep. But it was so fun, because they didn't plan on playing trivia. I yep. didn't plan on playing trivia. By the end of the trivia... 45 minutes go by yep we're all sitting there and we're waiting to find the answers and we're like it was that yeah, yeah. we got That's that one Spain. that was good yeah and we were yeah. really into it That's you know why what trivia i mean is funny because yeah. i think it can, it does it i think it's very alluring i don't know why yeah we, we played a but music- anyway i fucked the those three elderly people it was <laughs> good thinking it was Played, That's where they came up with the name when, Quavers. Remember when you played uh, <laughs> when you Quiver played, and Quaver? You played Sex Toy Bingo with that woman? Uh, <laughs> that's not what I happened. I remember this. Yeah. yeah, me too. But no, it was... Uh, but yeah, so we were at a, a, a music trivia night, at wing night that time. Yep. And that was fun. And like, yeah, when my, my mom watches Jeopardy every night. So if yeah. you're at their house around that time, you'll just hear all the things. And it is so exciting to get one right. Yeah. But it, it, you get to remember that it's like... 
they can ask a question that's just as important and you don't know it and yeah. it's the same thing. Right, right. How do you yeah. compare that? You trivia. Know? It's just yeah. what are you gonna do? It's just trivia. Yeah, yeah, it is. I and wish I had uh, more distinctly done what I did on this trip, but mm-hmm. it was it was really delightful. Oh, that was great. I, I think you gave a great summary. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of different yeah. stuff. That was very fun. Craig's really got a lot of photos it. to upload. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Craig. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Craig. I, I hate it because I don't want it to be like a slideshow of my vacation. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? I don't want it to be that. I never want. I think we had enough tangents. Well, what do you mean? I think this was fun. I think that I think that part of this is is. Following us and, sure. and, and, and the fun things that happen th- in our lives, I people think, will be excited I think for this. Grampy's going to be proud to be mentioned. Man, Paul Brown, I love that man. And I also did really enjoy driving uh, in Ireland, and I want to yeah. do it again. I really want to go on a road trip through Ireland. So if I'll any, do it. Just ask. Yeah, if any, uh, you know, independently wealthy fun bears are out there, I am. Uh, no, 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 wealthy. Okay. You're you're fine. You're doing fine. <laughs> uh, either that, or you haven't informed me on some things. In, in which case, I would like to relitigate some of our <laughs> shared expenses. Uh, <laughs> so, but uh, if there are you know any independently wealthy uh, fun bears, uh, that may, or if you're in Ireland and have just enough to pay for my flights and rental car and stuff yeah you know let, let me come over what are you waiting i'll for? bring the boys and we'll hmm. do a fun bear you wouldn't want to go to ireland i probably would just uh, you got to pay for would. pay for a cat sitter as well do you have you do you have a genuine interest in ireland i do i do i I'd, I'd love to hit london uh there's some some improv pals oh, that i no, want to see now he's back to be in german again I'd, yeah, love, I'd love to hit london i would love to hit london yeah <laughs> um i know the, the uh the uh you know that area Thumbs up. Yeah. Would, would love to check it out. Um, Absolutely. What areas would you not like to check out? Hmm, where are the stinkers? <laughs> Here's what I don't like is like, it, I think it's clear. I think you could tell where he doesn't want to visit just by getting a look at a picture of who lives there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, if they if they're smiling, I don't want to live. There. Brad, I don't want to go there. It's like, well, you can skip the desert countries. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I want to go to sad places. Uh, yeah, and and I uh, I also adore being able to uh, because I'm a big Anglophile, yes. right? Yeah. I like a lot of UK Children. based. Uh, no, hmm? uh, uh, television and movies yeah. and things like that. It was really I love being over there and like. Just let me go into like a bookstore. Yep. Yeah. Or you know a video store of some kind where it's like. Oh shit! Like I went to, uh, we took Finn to Forbidden Planet, the comic book shop. Yep. Yeah. That's in Covent Garden. They have yeah. one in New York as well. Yeah. And uh, it was super fun to like go through and be like, "There's different stuff here." You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I found that book series I was telling mm-hmm. you about, Rivers of London. Yeah. That sort of it feels like Buffy meets Harry Potter as a police detective in London. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. And it's like a huge series and there's like a million books. I'm like, I think I might need to read this. That's you know? very cool. Yeah, it's stuff like that that's that's really wonderful. And yeah. uh, and I like getting to be in the place that those things are from. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. Like, no, yeah, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, and it's fun to to have like little isms oh, yeah. that have that have wormed their way in from watching so many Brit- like British TV shows and stuff. Yeah, no, that's great. And uh, like saying, oh, that's cheap as chips, and like it just being in my head. Mm-hmm. You know how some people have an accent that gets stronger when they go home. Yes, mm-hmm. I feel like that happens not with an accent, but with phrases when I go to London. Oh. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. but it's that's uh, why you've been calling everyone <clears throat> that c word. Exactly. Yeah. But it was really fun. Uh, I wish I remembered more entertaining anecdotes but uh it was it was wonderful and i would like to go again tomorrow it was was a good time i'm glad it was great man that's awesome i'm really glad to hear that for sure yeah so let's set it up fun bearable i'll do it eu uk tour i would do it in a second why not mark it all right where where am i marking it calendar calendar all right oh let me finish my plea oh yeah to to any rich listener yes viewers please and thank you Thank you. That was, I was just wrapping it up. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you know, fund it. Yeah. You, we want to fund the arts. On a good day, that's what this is. <laughs> yes. That, what? Remember that one good well, day? I was say, <laughs> one day we'll have a good day. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I, I would love to do it again. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Folks, I'll drive. Thank yeah. you. Send us an email, funbearablepod at gmail.com or find us on socials at funbearablepod. Yeah. Thank you all so much for uh, hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. For Ray Harrington and Chuck Staten, I'm Brad Rohr saying thank you so much, and we're sorry for being fun bearable. Ta.
really want a pie. But I'm like a pies. savory pie. He likes, we, yeah, he, we he got likes empanadas. Pie. I That's do. Like a empanadas pie. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Empanadas are delicious. But we gotta we gotta find out about this pie minister sponsorship. International shipping. Yeah. I'll do it. We gotta figure this out. You think they make pies here? In America? Yeah. No. No. Yeah, we hate pies. There's a rule. This is the Boston Pie it was, Party. It was yeah, it was part of uh, the Revolutionary War. Yeah. Where they said no, no hand, savory pies, no hand pies, no savory pies. Chicken pie caught in, yeah, mm. but by a uh, by a feather, yeah. yeah. By it, was, a feather. it was the chicken lobby that made yeah. it happen. Uh, by a feather, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs>